The Hunter Brothers proudly present Hunting for Funny. Hello folks and welcome to episode 11 of Hunting for Funny, a very, very special episode today. I am Chris. And I'm Jack and we're on a quest to find a funny in life. Yes, we uh, are. Chris, who's this handsome bastard in the middle of the screen here? It's me, you seems to have put the... Oh, that one. <laughs> That, yeah, the that female viewership this guy. seems to have gone up here. Jeez, oh, yeah, who's this guy? You, look at that, Sean. It's, the it's got the guns out, the works is there. Uh, you tell me. This, this Today, weirdo just showed up and I'm like, okay, you can join in, why not? <laughs> Today on this podcast, we've got our first guest, Thomas Matthews. Tommy. One of my teammates, the best yes. looking wheelchair guy you'll see this side of the Benines. Benines, not even a Benines, is it? In this country, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. He's got me flustered. Yeah, he's got you flustered. Yeah, he really has that affected you, doesn't he? Jesus Christ. It's, it's like the Diet Coke effect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely not fit if we were to laugh this, you know what? <laughs> oh, God, this is going to be fun. Yeah. No, so welcome to the pod, Tom. We really appreciate you being here. Hope you have a good time. Um, you're yeah, going to regret it on. very soon, I'm, I'm sure. Yeah. But for now, it's Well, nice. mate, after listening, I think it was the last one where Jack said my uh, foot went down the toilet, so I'm having it back on it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was a good story. I forget these things. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, you, that's the thing. Jack just says stuff. It's like, no, 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 no. I think sometimes yeah. he expects me to cut stuff out the edit, and I never do. Absolutely, so, yeah. <laughs> so, no, like, I it's all going enjoy on. Enjoy the happy birthday, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the happy birthday was something special. Oh, God. Right, so... We normally start with a little roundup of our weeks. So, Jack, do you want to go first? Or Tom, do you want to go first? Yeah, should we go, go guest first? Go on, why not? Go why on. not? Let's go on, keep Tom, it fancy. No pressure, but you can open. <laughs> it's a bit <laughs> no mean, isn't it? Your podcast, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> so, go on, Tom, what have you been up to this week? Well, this week's been good. I've been back in training. Uh, I think it's my second weekend now. So, nice. it's been good to be back in the hall. Yeah. And, yeah, it's just been quite busy, to be honest. I um, had a few meetings to attend and some... S and C over Zoom, but yeah, it's been a really good week so far. Nice, exciting stuff. Nice. It's good to, to it's... sort of start being a bit more like back to normality again, but still safe. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. Um, by the way, what's it like in uh, Wales now, Tom? What's that? Sorry. What's it like with the virus and stuff in Wales? Um, it's starting to like creep up again. Um, obviously, oh, more tests now going around. There's been a local lockdown in Caerphilly. Um, oh, okay. I think we're, I think we are next, to be honest. RCT yeah. And Mayfair. But, you know, it's like we've had lockdowns up by you and we, we're still able to train, so I'm yeah. lucky for everyone else. But, yeah. you know. Is it, Chris, we got letters in, in training that we, basically, if there's a lockdown, we're still allowed to go and train, so we've got to show the police like the letters if we get stopped. Right. So we're basically, Jesus. like, key work. Like, you, guys get, like, you can get, like, it's independently like, tested Screw and stuff. you. Yeah. We are still going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Like Mr. Bean in our clip going on the road. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> More or less is. Oh wow. <laughs> well, you know, at least at least you're safe and well, and that's what matters. Yeah. Um, I, absolutely. I actually yeah. forgot to do something at the beginning. I'm going to do now for you. Oh yeah. We never have guests, as you know, on this podcast. We never have. You're the very first. You're breaking the mold, as it were. And you can yes. see something that this podcast is known for amongst the fandom is the awesome, fantastic little heads that we've got down here that are drawn by my lovely Aww. wife. So we've got me over here. We've got Jack. And now for this very special episode, boom! Hey, oh, we've got a Tommy. Look at that. Oh, well, it's great, isn't it? I so, want that in an email. That's my new Tinder profile. Hey, that, that is done. I will send it to you an email as soon as we're finished. Now, these heads have been done by the lovely wife of mine, Charlie. You can find her on Instagram, Charlie Makes It. She does all kinds of cute pictures and stuff, but I just want to give a quick shout out because definitely give her a follow after that. <laughs> it's, that's brilliant, isn't it? I love that. She's George like, I don't, I don't know if it's good. If, if you squint, got a look at George Michael. If you, if you give it a little squint, <laughs> if you give it, if you just, if you have enough faith, it turns into it. <laughs> oh, Chris! Oh, hey, I love hanging fruit give, like Chris. Given the freedom, I'm going to take it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't start this one, Jack. I'll bam you. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a car crash. Is that too far? It's, it's going to be too. Far. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I was just thinking, I don't know that song, and then I realised what you meant. <laughs> oh no! Oh god! Oh, yeah, that'll be the death of me. Right, that's, that's, that's the last Christmas I get a present. You a present. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Jesus, this has gone so down well, so fast. Right. So yeah, uh, um, the, the heads I forgot to introduce. So sorry. Yeah. So back yeah. onto the weeks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my week's been alright to fair. Like, um, been back training. Same as Tom, really training. Uh, training with Megan um, in the squad with Rushy. It's been mm -hmm. been alright. Um, some of the squads in the IS have been running around with no mask on. So we had an email saying like sort your shit out basically. So you just stab them in the eyes and then say, "Where's the yeah. tolerance in this house?" I won't, I won't name the sport, but it's one that they look dead hard and they hit people. I'm not I think I say, but, it, yeah. but it rhymes with bugby. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say names, but I'm just Michael Borden. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you just got to call um, Jack. If this happens, you know, call name and shame. It's the world we live in. But no, I've I'm, been having uh, a driving lesson as well. Oh yeah, how's that driving. Going? You got your thing. Going well, you? actually. Yeah, I'm getting a bit too confident. He keeps on telling me off, like accelerating too quick. Yeah, don't like... do that. You, that <laughs> but all like, things to do. That's not what you want to do. Try and drive to my driver. Yeah, yeah more, more or less, it literally is. Yeah. Jesus. If my driver is stuck, like he's really nice, called Manine, but he's a bit straight laced, and I always try and get a joke out of him every week, but it doesn't happen. Like you know, he's just so like he's so. Yeah, some people just can't. They just don't bend, do they? You'll get one day. Tell me our jokes, mate. They know good. Yeah, too fair. I said to him, he said to me, uh, oh, I was going to learn this week, and I was like, um, should you go to your drive through And he went, no. <laughs> I was going to go, I was like, mate, he's a joke. Look how KFC, let's go learn. <laughs> oh, God. I was like, it helped me roll position, and he was like, no. And he just, just carried on. <laughs> So we we were on a quiet road and I was doing roundabouts and it was up a bit of a hill. Yeah. And I thought I'm just gonna accelerate a little bit faster and see what happens. And he just went, Whoa, 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 whoa. I was like, it's all right, well, I'm again? joking, I was joking, I'm alright. <laughs> God, you, you gotta not be so mean to your driving instructor. The guy's there you to help said you. you had a spasm. <laughs> I know. <laughs> just start flinging it right. Yeah. Oh, it was my hand, it wasn't me. Jeez. I've got my yeah, uh, I've got my theory test on Monday. Monday, man, that's soon. Yeah. It's three days. Yeah, yeah it's tough. No, no pressure, but three days is three yeah. days. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot of shite that you... Some of it's common sense, and some of it's like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Like, some of it's really obvious. Like, if you've seen a cyclist, do you A, accelerate up the back tyre and B, loud at him, or do you B, give him plenty of room and go around him? Like, well, that's a hard A, obviously. Definitely A. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm not saying laughs> a. Yeah. Depends what kind of road you're on, if it's a country lane. Call him a wanker. Drive yeah. off. <laughs> I used to be a cyclist, so I'm going to say A. Yeah, yeah. I'm over. <laughs> I, uh, I, I know plenty. It's definitely A. <laughs> yeah. There was, a... <laughs> there was another question as well. It was like, if you see um, a group of people and one of them holding a the red siren mm. and a, um, a high reflective jacket. What is it? And I didn't know it. And it was organized walk, as if like you see them organized every day. War. Organized walk. Yeah. A walk with a K. Yeah, not a war. Oh, no, there's an organized war. war. It's like who the. No, f- no, not no, quite. I, I thought that was the people in the airport who played the planes. Could have been yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just cyclists who <laughs> lost the bikes all along. <laughs> yeah. Makes so much more sense. Gatwick for me to test. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you have a long in enough road. <laughs> Oh wow! Oh. Well, yeah, I never knew that one. But like, I know what you mean, though. Some of it's yeah. just complete like nonsense or yeah. stuff that you just never see if you don't live in specific areas of the world. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, I I only just started to see like you know horses around this area where I live now. Yeah. You know, so sometimes yeah. you got to be careful with them. But when I learned, when I did my test, I lived like you know in the arse end of witness. You don't see a horse. The only <laughs> yeah. horses there are just some of the women. But you know, I was going to say don't... you see plenty of horses, but not the animal kind. <laughs> oh, don't cancel us! Don't cancel us, Twitter. We, it was a joke. Clearly, look at us. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah. So I know what you mean. The theory test—it's a weird one. But good luck. Yeah. Good luck to you. Yes, Thank you. Yeah, I'm sure hopefully. you'll smash it. And if you don't, <laughs> do it again. You know. I've been looking at cars today, so I've been out looking at cars. See what I, uh, I can get. So what you going so, for, McLaren um, or Lamborghini? I'm going for a BMW. Oh, I know. I, I feel like I've lost yes, my roots. Track. I feel yes. like I've lost my roots. I feel like I come from a place where I should have a shitty old Corsa. Now, to be fair, oh, where you come from, there's a lot of BMWs, just it's all dealers <laughs> that drive them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the sign of a dealer right there. That's my new business plan. Deals on wheels. Yeah. I'm just going to play in the black BMW oh, chuck no. it out so sweets. <laughs> oh, shit. That's, that's, that's a bad move, Jack. Bad move. <laughs> you, you and your friends all get tested quite often for that stuff, so it's probably not a good <laughs> idea. Yeah. You're either often done for drugs or Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lucy's like, why did a white transit van? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what are you talking about? <laughs> But it's got special hand controls. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's got the original in the glove box. I just don't know why. Like, don't know why. I'm sure I had muffled screams come from underneath the carpet. <laughs> so now it's, it's just a tyre that's where I keep it. Don't don't touch it though. <laughs> Do you think you pass your test if you've done it again, Chris? Like for the new test? Do you reckon you could pass it out? Well, like the, the, the practical, the, the theory the theory. One, the, the theory. Probably not at the moment. If I, if, I, if I brushed up, like as in you know, if, I'll hundred percent say I wouldn't pass it again. Yeah, like it's because it's so like examy, you know. Like if I brushed yeah. up, if I had like a week or two to proper brush up on it, then yeah, it should be okay because it's just a reminder of the weird bits. But if it was just like out of the blue, here's the test you've got half an hour. I'd be like, well, looks yeah. like we're losing our license, boys. Yeah. <laughs> Bus looks good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I don't mind a bit of Corona, you know. It's it's fine. I'll just take the bus again. <laughs> um, yeah, that, 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 there wouldn't be a chance. I think the, the practical will be fine with 
But um, yeah, yeah, yeah the the old that one not so good, not so much. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, so three days—that's not long at all. So, how are you preparing? Are you getting a nice stable diet in, so you're not in trouble on the road? Are you uh, getting everything sorted mm. out? I've got the app. That's what. You got the app. So I've got, I've got, just I've let got it do you for you. It's a good idea. Basically, I've gone from like revising the answers to just doing the mock test and hopefully memorize the answers rather than looking at like what. Well, here's a weird concept for you. Like, there's a really, really <laughs> weird concept for you. You could just learn the information. Oh, piss off! That's partially the that. point. Nah, <laughs> that's just... don't. That's just like getting something from Ikea and locking at the instructions. You don't do that shit. <laughs> yes, you do. Yeah. Yes, you do. Why does nobody else do <laughs> <Well> this? <laughs> I've never understood it just that. ends up falling down after a month. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You end, up, you end up killing the cat. No one's happy. Whereas you could just yeah. build it properly to start with and it's all good. <laughs> Me and Tom are real, man. We don't look at instructions. We just go straight home without doing anything. Just yeah, go well, straight for it. Call, call and then Mockerin, it's about 40 bolts on the floor. You're like, ah, oh, shit, I am done it. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, Jack, call me on Monday. See how far being a real man gets you. Yeah. When you've not passed. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, you just had to click numbers. It must work, though, Chris, because he always comes to me when something goes wrong with his chair. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, absolutely. Tom is literally a mechanic on my chair. <laughs> Oh, Tom, do you remember in Slovenia when my chair broke and we had a team meeting, bro, I was going to be late for the meeting. So me and Tom came up, we were sharing a room. Right. My front wheel had fell off on my chair and we were oh, late God. for this meeting and the, the head coach, Goraz, he, he bollock you if you're late. Yeah. So my idea was to sit on Tom's knee and travel all the way down in the lift. You sit on someone's all the knee? Way through the old t- yeah. Jesus Tom Christ. sat there like a wee... <laughs> Like on his knee in the meeting, everyone's like, "What's fat as for Jolly Gus Dunny?" Bro, they're all just locked at us. Like, what are you two doing? <laughs> it's like some travelling little and large act. Oh Jeez. god, that's the best one the is. Go on. Talking about people sitting on my lap. Yeah. I passed my femur doing that, so it's not Oh, yeah, tell them the story about breaking what? your leg. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you walked into it. I need to hear it now. He broke his leg wow. trying to get some pussy. <laughs> it's a good way to do it, to be fair. <laughs> death, death by snooze snoo is a good way of going. <laughs> but, yeah, so we were on a night out. We were just uh, at a meal. Yeah. And um, it's in Jamie Oliver's restaurant in Cardiff. It's which I names about. It's a knob. <laughs> like you got into two spots, I hate the guy. Yeah. So yeah, we're not. I'm not a fan of him anyway. But <laughs> on to the story. We go outside. This hen was walking past. Bunch right. of lads. She wanted a picture of us. So maybe in a wheelchair. She comes up to me, sat on my lap, put her arm around me, mm-hmm. had the picture. I should get up. She slips her high heels, still have me around the neck, like tombstone <laughs> me to the floor. <laughs> and my ass is still in my chair. And my body was on the floor. I was like, Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, so my femur had snapped against my titanium chair and oh, it was only wow. one point there. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, did you get, did you get laid, though? Did, Maybe laid out on yeah, the floor on a stretcher. She was a hen. I'm not going to go with that. <laughs> oh, my God. That's, that's yeah. not a fun... That, that, that does not sound like a fun experience. Oh, oh yeah. It would have had doesn't sound great. Oh. But, I, I imagine know? it was pretty damn painful. Uh, no, luckily I can't feel my legs. So well, I was going to say actually, because oh, I was going to say without well, directly yeah, asking, can you feel that bit of your leg? No, no, because you know I've heard that breaking your femur is like the most painful break you can have. So I guess in a way you're lucky, you know. Just saying. He carried on his night out. Exactly, you got your night out. You're finishing Nando's. <laughs> with, 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 with Jamie Oliver. Yeah, <laughs> my leg's gone like a U bend, but yeah. <laughs> Definitely didn't finish the night down. My leg was like a balloon. Jesus. Yeah, I can't imagine that was fun. Well, at least at least you yeah. made it through. You pulled through. Are you, and you get, life, a, you get a story out of it. That's what matters sometimes, you know? Yeah. As long as yeah, you get absolutely. a story out of it. If you can talk <laughs> afterwards, it's all good. Talking oh. of chairs, I got measured up for my. Uh, I'm getting measured up for a new chair this week. Nice. I met with the uh, the guy, and I'm getting a new day chair. Hopefully, really? a new Tilsner's chair. So that's yeah. fun. Nice. So I'm getting a new car and a new chair for me. Oh, God. Smashing you know it. You know when you say wheels everywhere? When, when you say a new day chair, is it like a Cinderella situation where as soon as the sun goes down, it just disappears? <laughs> yeah, my, my night chair is like a pimp chair. It's like purple with LED lights. <laughs> oh, man, that'd be amazing. If you got a Need for Speed Underground 2 chair, <laughs> I'd be so happy. I'd, I'd walk around oh. you, behind you with a GameCube controller, just like I'm He's playing that game again. He's having a underneath his chair. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a speaker on the back, like, playing a funky music, why, boy? <laughs> Who the hell would pick that as the driving music? With a blue hat on, just like... <laughs> <laughs> just pimping the streets out. Oh, my God. But you know what? That's, you should oh. re, when, when you're rich and famous, when you're more than just a blue tick, you should yeah. go and relaunch Pimp My Ride, but it's just for <laughs> wheelchair users. And so everyone That'd gets fully sick. pimped out. <laughs> <laughs> that would be sick. Spruce my spouse, I'd call it. <laughs> well, you'd be allowed to, I guess. It, it, you know, it's the year twenty twenty five, everything went to shit after the war of twenty twenty three. So you can do what you want. 
<laughs> recreate the retard, right? <laughs> this is definitely the one. We, if we're going to get in trouble, it's definitely going to be this one. And I can I note, folks, I, the able-bodied gentleman, have not said a thing wrong. <laughs> Just to clarify, oh, wheelchair, God. wheelchair, we're good. <laughs> Valued a vegetable. Right? <laughs> Dribble so, yeah. and drift like. <laughs> <laughs> oh god you know if i believed in hell i'd know i was going there but <laughs> i think i'm already there yeah. oh god yeah. oh god i'm gonna look forward to getting all these tweets um... so, uh, chris how was your week chris? yeah i was gonna say let's move on swiftly how was your week chris yeah my week's all right um <laughs> ironically i was gonna open up with uh the fact that i had severe diarrhea yesterday so which is a oh. better subject so <laughs> Nice. Yeah. the screaming ab dabs on the air. Well, uh, yeah, as, uh, as I said yesterday, it, I would have done this yesterday, but I had a major, uh, major spout of the splatter guts just before we were due to start. Ooh, wow. So apologies for that, Tom, but that's what happened. That's right. so, yeah. so I could either be sat here green as anything, talking to you, trying not to throw up, or I could just save it a day, which I did. Um, so, you know. But yeah, uh, but speaking of like healthy, good health topics i discovered just before starting literally i was writing my notes and charlie called me because the cat was on a lap so she couldn't come upstairs and she said hey guess what the area that we live in has just been on the national news because it's one of the worst in the country hit by coronavirus oh nice lucky me Tidy. Fantastic. And it, there's, there's like yeah. six people live here so you know yeah hey <laughs> turns out they're all fucking idiots which i could have told you to start with um we're even getting a portable like test center tomorrow because people yeah. are being sent to like yorkshire and scotland and stuff to Bloody get tested hell. um but yeah so awesome um luckily i don't go anywhere so and i don't trust <laughs> yeah. i don't trust anyone in the area so i don't go near anybody uh but yeah that's that's not good but that's how it is so it's gonna stay at home um i did i did think i had a bit of better luck throughout the week though because i got a letter uh a couple of days ago I got a brown letter through the post which is always either a really good thing or a really yeah. bad thing. So, yeah. <laughs> so it arrived as like, oh, I've heard my friends are getting rebates, like tax rebates. It's like, this could be it. Last year was nice to me. So I was yeah. like, this year might be. Honestly, last year I know I had a heart attack. I opened it and it said 500 quid. I was like, oh, wow, just... come to Papa. I'm getting games. And that's what happened. It went straight to video games literally oh, that day. Could, could we just have a no context on the funny? Just Chris look at the camera. Just, oh, and come to like, Papa. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That could be a new T-shirt. I like it. Wait, oh, let, me, let me get the still. You tree. Yeah. There you go. More like you tree. Um, but yeah, so I opened the letter, thinking which way is it going to go? Am I going to owe them money? Are they going to give me money? And I opened it, and it was ten pound eighty. Nice. I was like, why the fuck did you send me this? I almost got angry. Like, <laughs> it wasn't worth the emotion. You know what I mean? Um, but oh, then... you're talking about ten pounds. You know what we get at Christmas for being disabled? We get a ten pound bonus for being disabled at Christmas from the government. What, for <laughs> using less shoes than everybody else. What's that about? <laughs> you just get a letter that says, "Oh, here's, here's your DLA." You get ten pounds as a Christmas bonus. Oh, exactly. Man. There's ten pounds to sort all your beer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> it's like a sympathy for Oh, you made it another year. Oh, here's a tenner. Ten quid. <laughs> it's like that oh, aging exactly. relative. Chippy. Still can't walk. Yeah. Carry on. Jesus Christ. <laughs> You know what? It should be more thinking about it. I didn't know you guys get an annual bonus, but now that I know, we need to expand on it. Yeah. So it, it definitely <laughs> yeah. should be more because if you think about it, you use a lot less of everything. Like right? lot Absolutely, less seats. Yeah. How many seats a day do you use? I'm guessing two, maybe. Yeah. Three if you need At a most, shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shoes. <laughs> what one a year? Or well, two? You know what I mean? Two. A pair. <laughs> What's some of your one? You know. I still got the same pair of shoes from when I was 16 when I crashed. There you go. So... There you go. See, yeah. <laughs> saving money for the country. Or not feeding the economy. I don't know. Maybe you should owe more money. I don't know. I never thought of that. <laughs> um, but yeah, we that, are, that is We are a burden on the health system. That, that is a massive thing. Nah, smokers are more of a burden. It's fine. I'd rather True. have a million of you folks. That, that sounds so folks. wrong. You know like what I mean? a different race. Yeah, you know what I mean? You, you, lot. you people, the, the gliders. I'd rather have a whole bunch of gliders knocking about, you know? <laughs> oh. Walking's overrated anyway. Yeah, exactly. It, is, yeah. it really is. Trust me, it is. Uh, I've been doing it my whole life. Well, most of it. It's All not, right, don't worry. I know. <laughs> so, yeah. You know At least I mean. you two fucking oh, you've got hair, like shut up. Normality and know what it's like to be able bodied. I've got no idea what it's like to be normal. You had a you minute. You had a little bit. You had a bit of a minute there. You're fine. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Get the violin out. <laughs> yeah. The world's smallest violin. Ooh. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, uh, I, I caved last week and I finally bought an Aero Press. Do you guys know what, what? one of them is? An Aero Make chocolate. Close. No, but that's I like the way you're thinking. Aero, very clever. You does, funny. Does bastard. it does it sing at you? Well, I'm trying to think. What I was trying to make a joke about Aerosmith. Oh, okay. I was wondering where you're going singing. Yeah, I was, that was trying well to think. Mad. Jesus Christ! Of course, Aerosmith sing. That was terrible. It's not loving an elevator. Yeah, it is. 
That's that's what they sing. But anyway, shut up. Is it? No, I, I bought an AeroPress. <laughs> <laughs> it's this device, right? It looks like a Swedish penis pump, but it's not. Oh, what, um, a Swedish penis pump? Yeah, you've seen Austin what? Powers. No, please tell me you've seen I'm Austin not... Powers. How I'm... fucking old am I? Have you both seen Austin Powers? Please. <laughs> please, Tommy, come on. Come on, don't do this to me, Tommy. I love you, buddy. Don't I'm do it to me. You I'm see that? Oh, Tom, see You've seen it. I just thought you were in some niche market like Swedish penis bumps. Like well, yeah, you just I normally am, but it's not, <laughs> it's not that one. That's over there. Oh, though. yeah, you know me Bulgarian dildo over there. <laughs> yeah, that's over there. No, no, I'm talking about basically there's this thing in like, Austin Powers has one. It's meant to in increase stuff, but it just looks like that. It's not one. Right. Like, okay. I feel like I need to clarify this. Right. I've bought a thing called an AeroPress and it makes coffee. All right. For starters, uh, <laughs> you don't use it anywhere near, you know, it'll burn. Um, <laughs> it's just a device that it, it just it's like a little pump thing you pump down and it makes nice coffee and uh, that, 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 oh just, I know what you're on about yeah exactly see it exists a, it a exists. cafeteria that's the one no it's a different thing it's it's a, it's a fancy one it's less bitter less acidic and I get acid reflux so I like things with less acid in it nice and it's nice, nice. it made me happy so I was just talking about it and now I feel like I need to defend myself for not having a Swedish <laughs> penis pump I don't have one I don't need one <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, um, oh god. Yeah, so yeah, and there's and then oh, I forgot to tell you last week. Uh, I started doing that Hello Fresh thing. Oh yeah, Hello you know, Fresh. The uh, where you get like sent the ingredients to cook like fresh meals and whatever. Not sponsored by the way. Yeah. Just I got a discount with work. I was like, yeah, fuck it, why not? I'm not going anywhere, so I might as well try and eat a bit better. Because nice. you know Domino's only has so much nutritional information. Uh, so <laughs> carb, it's time to get carb, some carbs. Carb, saturated yeah. fat. Carb, <laughs> carb, little fu <laughs> future cancer, <laughs> diarrhea. You know everything you need. Um, oh. I've, yeah, so um, <laughs> hang on a sec. Tommy's froze on the video. I need to fix this. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, a, that's, that's a good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, audio, audio <laughs> listeners. Looks like Tommy's having it. There you go. He's having a moment oh, yeah. there. He was oh, having a moment. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you got Very a secret visitor fathom. coming. <laughs> uh, yeah, so yeah, I've been doing HelloFresh. Uh, it's been nice. It's been really good. Every night cooking a nice new meal. I cooked a thing tonight called a lamb pilaf, which I've never even heard of. And it was oh, really, really nice. Lamb pilaf. Oh, oh, Tom knows about sheep. He's, he's good, for, good for that. You know what? I didn't even make that connection. But now that you have, I'm glad somebody yeah. made it first and it wasn't me. Uh, sheep jagging bastards. Sorry, I have to do that. I asked my sister. I can feel it building up like Tourette. She just needs to get it out. You're terrible. See, the only thing I, I think of... I'm enjoy eating them afterwards. Jack, I don't want it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, use every bit. That's the important thing about butchering. You use every bit of the animal. Um... <laughs> So yeah, we we made, we made a lamb pilaf, which was really nice. It was just like rice with some spices and shit in it and bits of lamb. Uh, it was nice, good stuff. I'd give it a go. Fair enough. Again. Well, but yeah, so I recommend them. Um, and yet, I was getting told before as well by Charlie in work. She said, there's this, there's this prick that she works with. Because she works in an office and she is back in the office. She has been for ages. Yeah. And it's a really small office as well. There's only like six or seven of them. And this guy, is, I think he's like an office, one of the office managers, but not like hair manager. He's just a prick, basically. And... Um, they they have like people come in and help them with the software sometimes that they use because they make like windows and shit and the software that they use is made by like her uncle so she has like family mm -hmm. that work with them and things so whenever they send somebody in it's normally like you know her brother or her cousin or something like that yeah and they sent her cousin who's Jim you know, she knows who's Jim always has done and uh, he came into the room and she said hey Jim to him and this like boss arsehole was like um it's James and she, she said she wanted to be like, you know, oh, how's, you know, how's Auntie What's Her Name doing? You know, like, yeah. just shut up, prick, he's my cousin. But I, yeah. I hate people like that. But this, yeah. this same guy, apparently, one of, the, one of the nice customers that she has sent her some chocolates in. Because sometimes they get gifts, you know, for just cracking on when everyone's going to shit and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, and she got sent this box of chocolates and she got an email saying, just checking, did you get your chocolates? Because normally she'll reply saying thank you or whatever. And yeah. she didn't. And she's like, no, so we've we got to send some for the office. It's like, no, they're, they're yours. And it turns out the guy, this asshole guy, decided he wanted some. So we just opened them. I was like, oh, oh th these are for the office. <laughs> like, go oh, fuck yourself. So, yeah. I don't uh, like the sound of this guy. No, yeah, he's I was going to say, sounds awful. Just, I can't stand people like that. And just, yeah. That's one thing I like I, about working from home at the moment is you don't deal with any of the tosses. And if you do, yeah. it's just a Zoom call. You can slip and hit, you know, close, <laughs> yeah. leave conversation. Talking about, talking about assholes being in car showrooms today. I'm so glad that's where you went with that. Twats. Honestly, yeah. car salesmen are absolute twats. Not all of them. Most, most, most of, them. of them, yeah. Because I went into three showrooms, right? And the, the guy at Toyota, mm -hmm. I walked and he went, what's wrong with you? I really? Went, no, I went, nothing, what's wrong with you? <laughs> well, were, were you looking a bit glum or was it just talking yeah, about the chair? I was like, well, I'm, I'm all right, mate. <laughs> and I went to another one and he went, 
Motivability. And I'd love to have enough money to go, no, but it, it was. So can I can't just really slap down a sack of cash. No. <laughs> no, you're fine as Lambo. Yeah. <laughs> but the worst one, the because uh, the, the deposit and the, the down payment was like four grand on this car. Jeez. We didn't want it anyway. And I was like, oh, it's a bit much. And he was like, well, you're lucky, you know, because if I was in your position, I'd spend the four grand for a car for the next three years. I was like, I can't fucking walk. <laughs> like, one, it's not free because you'd get your, month, your weekly money taken off. Yeah, yeah. but still, I can't walk. I thought saying... That fucking tight one diabetes take your legs off, you fat fucker. But then you'll have a no. But I thought, no, I can't say that. Can you gotta keep your cool? Keep your cool. Yeah, you save it for well. the pod. That's a new lesson. Just save it for the pod. That's it's so it is. rude. I'm like, this is your I retaliation. Want to spend money with you. Dickhead. I tell you one oh. thing: it does my head in on car dealerships and What's well, that? any other place. Is if you're with someone else and they yeah. walk, they'll talk over you. Absolutely, like, yeah. I'm here to buy you the fucking car. Yeah. yeah. Fucking talk to me. I know. They, <laughs> Only I... talk to like you're a five year old. Like the guy yeah. in the showroom just like. So we were after an SUV. Hmm. And the guy was like, do you need a high car? Do you need a low one that's a bit longer at the back? And I was like, an estate? And he was like, that's the one. I was like, I know what an estate car is. I can is. spell I'm estate. Not, not, not an absolute <laughs> dribbler. Like, I know what. Yeah, no, I know that used to drive you crackers when you were a bit younger. Like, if I'd oh, like, push yeah. around or whatever, people would talk yeah. to me instead of him. And they'd be like, hello, yeah. I'm here. What? You know, yes, I'm fine. What do you want? <laughs> Just used to really piss him off all the time. I remember you used to get free at you and we'd used to take me to the shops and you used to leave me facing the opposite way to like what you were buying in the shop and yeah. I couldn't see anything. <laughs> you, know, like in the it, you just park him up there, there you go. Now the good stuff. Look, I'm not a trolley. Just get to see the stuff, please. You are. You're, you're the trolley with the wonky wheel. The, <laughs> you stay the there. Annoying all the yeah. way around, has to. Oh. No. oh, talking about disability, I feel like we should explain like how I know Tom and what oh, yeah, of he course. does. And that. that might help, I forgot yeah. to, uh... We didn't actually finish <laughs> Tom's intro. Jesus, well, that's all right. We're only 26 minutes we in. We just went for yeah. all We've covered penis bumps, but who Tom point. is, not a clue. <laughs> <laughs> so, just a random guy off the street there. Yeah, yeah. That's it, yeah. He's our only listener. He, 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 he Wouldn't surprise me. Like, Would not surprise me. <laughs> Please have your... <laughs> we may as well just FaceTime Tom for the next episode of me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not even hit record, save me editing, why not? <laughs> just cut right to the sauce, man. <laughs> um, Tom is part of the Great Britain squad table tennis like I am yep. uh, from Wales you're class Lovely. 1 I'm a class 5 which means I'm like the high end of the disability scale for wheelchairs Tom's at the bottom so he's more or less Stephen Hawkins just eating all the bat that's basically that's basically where he's gone with <laughs> you know what That's that was quite a classy way of putting it I guess <laughs> I enjoy that one. You don't, you don't quite, yeah. you don't quite talk with your eyes, but you're on the way. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Great shot, thank you. See, I didn't do the impression. I just, trust Jack. It's always I'll leave it. Just teetering on the edge of the curb, and Jack just volleys it off. <laughs> leave him wanting more, Jack. Leave him wanting more, not less. <laughs> well, cl- class one tails is like pong on the little iPad because he can't move. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> You do realise I'm listening to this shit. <laughs> oh, God. It's like first oh. hand abuse. It's not even just passively. He's right there. To- Tom's won more stuff than I have. So yeah, I, I was going to say, which one of you has qualified for Tokyo? Just saying. I was going to say. Hashtag Burns. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's brilliant. So so you're on the squad with Jack. Um, yeah. You do the same same thing, table tennis. Uh, obviously, yeah. oh, that's a bit weird to be in a squad of somebody who doesn't do yeah. table tennis. How uh, did you get involved in stuff, Tom? Like, how did you start um, so, it? Do you want to start off from how you got in a chair, if you want to? Yeah, or... go on. Yeah, so basically when I was 16, I used to race down the mountain bikes. Well, I rode push bikes all my life mm-hmm. before. And then when I was 16, I had an accident where I was out on the side of the mountain, racing down the side of the mountain on the mountain bike, and Jeez. went over the animals last run of the day. I end up breaking my neck. That's not, knob. that's not an ideal way of doing it. I mean, most no. people, ah, not, most not people really, try and yeah. land it. Well, you know, yeah. you, just, you have to go for that really? flip. That's what it is. You just, yeah, yeah. You you know, know, always a showman. We were not supposed to catch landing, but you know, it did. And, <laughs> yeah, it fucked me up, to be honest. It done ah, a good job as well. Yeah, yeah. I bet, yeah. But Jeez. yeah, so then I got lifted to Frenchie. I was up here for two weeks on my operation. Right. Came back down to Cardiff and then spent, I think it was like six, seven months in hospital. Wow. Um, and during that time in hospital, I met a guy called Jim Monkley, which mm-hmm. got me involved with table tennis, which is an absolute legend. Right. Passed away yeah. now, but um, honestly, without him, I wouldn't have gone into table tennis at yeah. all. So yeah, he's good lad. Thank- yeah, thanks to him. Like, I wouldn't have even picked up a bat. Because, yeah. like, he used to come around all the time and try and get me out of bed. Oh, give it a go, give it a go. Mm-hmm. I, I was, like, 16, naive. Right. Thought, oh, I- I'm going to get back on my push bike. Yeah. And... Uh, in the end, he just had my fucking head in, I'll be honest. He was doing my nothing. I was like, well, just beat I you into a corner. Shut in this. Fuck it up. Like, so I got, I got up. And literally, my Chinese had just come as well. Because my parents just bring me in Chinese. Right. So 
I got up, started playing. I don't know. Literally, I didn't leave the table till about nine, ten o'clock. My Chinese wow. had gone cold. I don't yeah, do that for anything. <laughs> <laughs> Chinese priority over everything. And, uh, this is another t-shirt yeah, idea. <laughs> literally, I fell in love with the sport. And then I think it was probably, I'd done it for about six months. And then yeah. I gave it up. So I had a car. And then I started going out drinking with the boys and just kind of get back to normality. Mm-hmm. And then after watching London 2012, I kind of thought, oh, I can give it another go, give Jim a ring. And he welcomed me back with open arms. And Brilliant. to be honest, he was like my second dad. He taught me everything I think. Yeah. Yeah. He taught mental. me how to become independent. So it's like, it's a bit crazy, a bit of a whirlwind. And yeah. now I got a proper jack. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. No, it's, a, it's a hell of a journey. And I'm glad, I'm glad, yeah. you've, uh, glad you've made it. To, uh, yeah. you know, I'm to glad a good I made place. Well. I, yeah. I'm not in a box. I'm not well, exactly. Yeah, can always be worse. You know? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, yeah. like I'm not blowing smoke up his ass, but he's like one of the most talented players I've seen. Like come through the squad, like yeah. disability ratio to like um, feeling to whatever. Like he's honestly, one of the most talented players you've got. So fantastic. And he's got me feeling in my legs. Everyone listen. <laughs> yeah, feeling table tennis. They are not in his lower <laughs> half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just upper half well, feelings all the way. Do you know what baffles me? Like your tails and it's good and all that bollocks, but like <laughs> how good you are at like um, PlayStation stuff and your fucking hands don't work. Like I don't understand how you do it. I'm like, That's how have you done that? Like, <laughs> hey, look at that! Showing off the biceps, they're still going. <laughs> oh Jesus! You get recast. Hey, ladies, the still there. Python, Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I didn't. I didn't charge tickets for this. I should have. Yeah, clearly Jesus at the good show. Tom is yeah, sick. Let's... Tom's sick on Call of Duty, Chris. You want to see him? Oh, nice. <laughs> what, what happened there? <laughs> Stop magic, mate. Fucking. We're gonna up. save something for the end. Keep him watching. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Stay tuned to the end for the big reveal. <laughs> <laughs> the belly of dreams. Really. Yeah, there you go. See, me and Jack combined could make like one big super belly, but you know, absolutely, I don't yeah. think that'd be quite Quite appealing. That. Remember that old school uh, Iron Brew advert? It was like belly on oh, a uh, motorcycle. Yeah, yeah, oh, it would give me nightmares yeah. for ages. That, that was horrible. Uh, that advert. Was that Vimto maybe? Oh. Or Iron Brew. Oh, could be Vimto, yeah. Yeah, either way, it was messed up. Oh, um, yeah. But yeah, so what, you see, you play a lot of video games as well then? Yeah, I play a lot of Call of Duty. Uh, nice. My main game at the moment. You've so been playing Warzone and... then? Yeah, oh, I've been smashing Warzone. Yeah, same. Um, I've maxed out my level last week. Yeah, so I, well, I think I put into multiplayer near enough twenty days in this pandemic going on. So Jeez. yeah, do not right, surprised. I'm surprised I'm not stuck to the sofa still doing all this. Hard to peel it off. <laughs> <laughs> so have you been? Um, if you've been playing Warzone, have you got yourself a big old fat W yet? Uh, I think I've got fifty. Jesus, I was going to say, I, gonna say I, I, I was made up today because I got, I finally got fourth place on a solo BR, but. That's the best oh, I've got. Oh, so shit, though, man. I know, so but I, I don't terrible. like people, so it's part of my problem. <laughs> I, you know how hard it is to get me to do this. I tell Chris you what, tries to like... distance on games. <laughs> I do. I've always been that <laughs> we're gonna way. Have to go, we're going to have to go live stream after this. All three oh, yeah. of us on Warzone. Absolutely, you know what? Yeah. I'm up for that. We should do that at some point. Yeah, Definitely. We were um, talking about getting a, a Twitch. We were hoping for funny Twitch. We were yeah, talking we, about uh, trying to do special occasions and stuff every now and again, trying to do yeah. stuff. Yeah. That'd be nice yeah, to yeah, we'll, we'll do. It it's go. embarrassing because like, I, I, I'm not going on games at all, but I thought, you know what? My fingers work properly and Tom's doesn't hands don't make properly. There's no thought. Hey. When I first started playing, I was like, does he just headbutt the controller or something? Like, how does he, how does he play? It's like the great Bear Grill says, you improvise, overcome, <laughs> and adapt. <laughs> I think he beat me on FIFA like 5-0. And I was like, how is that, how is that going on? I don't know what's going on here. You've got someone else playing with someone else's controllers going on here. You're just it. He's, just, he's just paying Jack Frax. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just on the mic like trying to shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a ghostwriter. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> but I'm, 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 glad, I'm glad things have worked out well in the long run, considering it could have gone such a bad way. So it's it's okay, nice. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. You as yourself are an inspiration to a lot of people, I'm sure. As, as Jack is as well, right. but you know. Uh, but yeah. you, you no, more it's, so. You it's got good, good as well. We like, like we've got a good team around us. And obviously, yeah. like, Jack's my best mate in the team. And we mm-hmm. like... Obviously, Megan is on yeah. Martin and stuff. There's like there's a lot of us that are really close. That's good. Um, and obviously, me and Jack share rooms, so it's yeah. yeah so yeah, we, unfortunately, you've dealt with that. Stories well, we could tell you. Chris. I used to live with him, so you know. There's some stories, it's and uh, even um, Jack revealed one about me. Oh yes, <laughs> there we go, folks. This is what we're here for. Everyone, get so, the recorders ready. Wait, just oh, let me no. check it's recording. It is recording. Thirty-four minutes I, in. I will write that down. Thirty-four. I wrong, Jack. I think it was before the worlds. Um, we went out for a push in Slovenia, just yeah. cracking along, oh. and um, yeah, so we find this driveway, right, and it's <laughs> steep, and I'm like, Jack, you want to push on that? And uh, he goes, do you want to bet? I was like, yeah, I bet with 10, eh? you want to push on that, and you're back on. 
she starts pushing up his head, and I, I can see he's struggling up. He's really pushing against, like, proper going for his head. And he gets up there, and he's like, he looks down, and I think it's me and Ashley Davis at the time. He's looking down, and he's like, guys, I'm stuck. And we're like, we're looking up, and we're like, Mate, we can't get you down, and we're definitely not for sure we'll pushing back to the hotel to get the coaches. Cause you're gonna be shit there. There's some blokes drive by it in gravel, and we just like oh, no. stuck in the just gravel. Buried in it. So oh. Jack starts coming back down now, slowly. Yeah. And his wheelchair starts skipping. Now, right? and he's, oh, he's done. Can, he's done. You can see as his soon as the skip like, starts. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> he starts going down the curve. He starts bouncing off the curve. On the <laughs> <laughs> and to be fair to him, he nearly made it, but he got yeah. to the bottom and he pulled the side of the car really out. Like, oh, God. Like, oh, shit, my wrist. <laughs> Jack, you're right, you're right. Yeah, please don't tell the coach. I think the world's going to be put over. <laughs> yeah. I cut all over now, me. I don't oh, know what God. you're doing. I was like, I don't know. Man, just, I've, I've actually got pictures of it. I will have to send you pictures. Of it. <laughs> yes, please. Area. We might have to tweet them out. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Right, yeah, those yeah, were the days, man. You're so lucky. I got a few more stories as well, but uh, I was going to say, that was quite a day one. We'll, we'll, we'll save you, we'll save some stories for the future ones. We'll have you definitely have a good uh, for them. But a singing voice ain't bad either. Like we've had a few duets. Yeah, oh, yeah. I've only heard a bad one. Few, got a few. Got a few. Script in it. <laughs> Done so, all right. What's your banger of choice when you two are belting it out? Oh, we've oh, got a few, you know. Yeah, the script. We go through. Yeah. The man can't be moved. Like we've just bang out on the way. Back from training. Go and give, hey, us, give us a little access. I, I can't remember do. the song. She's all laid up in bed with a broken heart. Yeah, you can carry on, mate. Yeah, <laughs> I, I can't say I know it from that interpretation. <laughs> but, what? Right. Well, it can't be moved. Ah, oh, leads get sorted out, Chris. I, I yeah, just, you need a sort of yeah. update. I remember the name of the script. I don't remember the band. Um, but fair enough. You know, that's that's good. Exciting, exciting talks about that place with the the gravel and such. So yeah, I'm, I'm glad there's, 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 plen- there's plenty more we could come up with. Yeah. But, uh, oh, I like it. Don't it's... want to get kicked off a squad yet, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, I was going to mention Korea 2015, but I thought I'm going to leave out Korea 2015. So, uh, uh, yeah, strange, we'll leave that one out here. Strange old toy. A, a lot of things have happened since then, Jack. We can't really mention the full thing about that. So. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're, we're a bit more professional these days. I was going to say, we get paid to do this, so we don't want to be a dive all in them stories. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe save them ones for the Patreon whenever we finally get one. <laughs> They'll be behind the paywall, you know, safe then. Yeah, I think that's... it's more uh, it's more only fans than than Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, whatever, would whatever we set up. It. Whatever we set up. <laughs> It's like yeah. a TikTok trend at the moment. I like you. I like your friend too. We should have a free sum. <laughs> Fair enough. Shane, we're Jack. We're Jack. We're on one, man. Like. He's always we're one for chat up lines. Like. Oh god. We we did get away. We ma- well, we managed. Yeah, to we did. Away. It didn't. Yeah, but we tried. To... to be fair, I'll go on a little bit about it because it was funny. Because it was funny. Yeah. I I I don't know if I pulled a bloke. Oh yeah, he kissed the lady boy. He because kissed the lady boy. That. That's the funniest thing you've ever seen. Wait, mate, I don't think she was lady boy. But full Adam's apple. Yeah, she didn't. Jack, she didn't. <laughs> Maybe she just swallowed something. Mate, come on, mate. <laughs> mate, 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 she couldn't be that Dubai guy. Who wanted to kill me. Yeah, yeah. It was, so it was a weird old night, that you know. We but went, honestly, yeah. we were about to leave. Yeah. And this girl just starts breaking down in tears. Well, right, geez. girl, man, that, I don't that, know. That always makes you feel done. comfortable. Yeah. So I was like, I'm either getting raped <laughs> or robbed you. Um, who who starts there? <laughs> I mean, clearly with this face, obviously that's what's going to happen first. <laughs> Mate, yeah. with these wheels, they were on fire. There. I was over there like, oh, really <laughs> yeah, that's called chlamydia. <laughs> Absolute burning. Oh god, I remember him. So this girl came up to him in the bar, and they, they were kissing. Like me, there was me, there was a few other players, and there was uh, other people there. I remember him kissing the girl and going to the other block next to me. That that bird's got a uh, big old throat on it. Like I, know. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, she's got a bit of her, uh, her hands are massive. <laughs> I was like, he's kissing a bloke. <laughs> well, mate, it weren't a bloke. It was. Chris, if I had... <laughs> Oh, neighbours death hold you. Matt even said she was pretty, so screw you. <laughs> oh man. I'm not having this. Well, you you brought it up to be fair. Yeah. I'm not fucking leaving. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whatever we'll you get choose to do in your own time. Yeah, oh, it, was, God. it was a crazy experience and was, that's yeah. just okay with the story. So we'll leave we leave the rest yeah, we'll of the rest. Save the rest for next time. I am liking the I'm liking where this is going. We should write some memoirs. 
Me and Tom could write a book, we really could. Do a oh, sketch, reenact it. After we finish. Oh, like, yeah. yeah, after the retirement. Yeah. That's when you write the books. <laughs> the tell <laughs> <laughs> There's one story we could release, but uh, yeah, we are <laughs> we But then the papers yeah, would release so it the day after. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you'd be like, Tokyo, Slovenia. where? Oh, oh, that was yeah. Slovenia again. So Slovenia. We love Slovenia, so. It is a big different country. You know, it's funny. Fair, I'd, but, uh, yeah. I'd, I'd never heard of Slovenia or Slovakia until Jack was like, I'm going to Slovenia. I was like, yeah. where? I thought it was in Wales <laughs> at first. To be fair, when I first started travelling, I, I thought it was, I thought I was in Slovakia for a week and I wasn't. It was in Slovenia. I didn't even yeah. know. <laughs> to be fair, Slovenia is stunning. It is like yeah. Wales because it's really like mountains. Mm. Yeah, exactly. like, nice I remember seeing pictures nice. whenever Jack goes. He sends mm. a picture every now and again, and it looks amazing. Yeah. It looks like a stunning yeah, place. It's stunning. Eh? It's like nice and peaceful as well. Mm. So. I can't wait to go back out there. Yeah, yeah me too. Since we've been out there, so. I'm sure, given enough time, enough enough things in place, we'll be back to as normal as possible in no time. <laughs> yeah, okay. so everyone isn't dead. I'm going to Wales in a few weeks anyway. No, mate. I'm so. going to Wales in December, whenever the Welsh Grand Prix is, I'm coming down to Wales. Damn. We're getting God's tested country. we're getting tested and we're gonna go out to see the class ones. Nice. God's country. Help help the vulnerable, that's what we call it, training camps down there. <laughs> Help the vulnerable. <laughs> You're gonna take one of those like dogs with the slots in his head and just stand outside with it. Chris, I'm encouraging. I'm I can't help it. I've got to go with what's in front of me. <laughs> can't just dangle a carrot in front of a donkey not expecting to nibble. <laughs> it's part of the process. You signed up for this. <laughs> I, I did. Do oh. I'm gonna be like Chris. I'm doing an appearance in Wales at a special school. I'll be back in a week. <laughs> Tom. And someone's like, "Where's Jack? Are those at Tommy's?" <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Tom. How are you? At least it's easy to spell, Tom, you know. Just three letters. <laughs> I can just try to spell that. <laughs> you wonder why you're going oh, for a car God. test and try to write your name. Um, so, yeah, fair enough. Well, um, I think we've talked about our weeks so far. So, yeah, normally, just... we'd start talking about our idiots and heroes of the week. So, yeah, do you want to do that? And then we'll just wing a bit of stuff. Just keep chatting. Yeah, yes. why yeah. not? Why oh, yeah. not? Let's go on go then, Jack. Do you want to start with uh, who your idiot of the week is? You can lay the foundation yes. of the shit cupcake. Well, I think I've talked about it a little bit. My idiot of the week is the car salespeople, yes. but not so much car salespeople. It's people who who like I can't explain it, but like when you, me Tom will know. So when you when someone talks to you in your wheelchair, mm-hmm. do you always like skate around questions? Do you always go. I'm sorry to ask you. I'm really, really sorry. I just I don't really know. You don't need to answer it. Oh yeah, you just want, oh, you, know, just you just want the question, don't me, you? Like yeah. Like if it doesn't warrant you asking, I'm yeah. not going to be offended by saying why I'm in a wheelchair. Yeah, exactly. Like do you know what I mean? I don't like it. Doesn't matter. But just like stop stumbling around the bush. Basically. Yeah, exactly. Get a grip yourself. Yeah. Like, yeah. Come on, why are you yeah. in a wheelchair? I wish... Oh, don't just don't just passively aggressively stare at my wheels as well as if like, you've never seen a wheelchair before. That's a bit yeah. annoying. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I know what you mean. Like I think. A funny story about that. Though, <laughs> is when I was wheeling into the IS, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I was literally wheeling in. A kid said to his mother. Mummy's broken. Laugh after you. Laugh like that. I love it when kids say shit like that just because it's, oh. it's so unfiltered. That's what you want. Yeah. That's yeah. what you actually want from people as Classic. grown ups. Kids are brilliant. I remember once uh, Will, me, Tom, and Will sitting in the cafe and yeah. Will took his shoes and socks off because his feet were killing him. Yeah. And this kid just walked over to Will, pointed out his feet, and started crying. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's an ability I want right now. <laughs> Just instant, you will cry now. <laughs> will just like nearly started sobbing and put his socks back on. <laughs> oh, poor guy. That's a superpower. I would just sob, sob about that. With the power to repel children. That's. You know, what I'd give for that. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, that's my idea of the week. It's just people that, um, yeah, treat not treat you differently because we, we do get treated differently because we are different. Like, I stare at people in wheelchairs. That's a normal thing. Like, if I see, if I see someone in the street in a street in wheelchair, I'm like, oh, it's in a wheelchair. And I realise I'm in a wheelchair. Yeah. So to treat everyone the same, it doesn't really make sense. I know they what you get mean. Because I mean, we are different in some sort of way. Yeah. Just don't be a bit odd. That's yeah, don't be I'm don't saying. be iffy about it. It's like, yeah. you, you what, what you want is somebody who will get in a bus and just point and say, fat or pregnant. Like, Absolutely, that's what you want. Yeah. Rather than yeah, trying to figure it out, mm, yeah. ah, should I sit, should I stand? Yeah. Just, yeah. Ah, hey, fat or pregnant. And then, like, if you're in a conversation, just go, oh, I just wondered, mate, like, how did you become in a wheelchair? Like, yeah. that, that's literally all you have to say. That's it, done. Yeah. But you don't want it oh, to go my... too far, like, what's up, legs? You know, what yeah, happened? Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. What happened to you? That's, that's, the other, that's the other end of the scale, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> just the ignorant bastards. Yeah. My other idiot of the week is two people that I met on the tram, but this one is, they're not really idiots of the week because they're quite nice, but it was a bit odd. It was right. on the tram. So, uh, inconvenience of the week. Actually, 
So on me tram, and I'm feeling a bit like horrible anyway because I'm on like a Corona bus. So I feel like a, I have a mask on. I have my, my kit on. And these two lads, they were they were a bit rough, but they were nice, like a bit rough next to them. <laughs> and he goes to me, oh, uh, oh, what sport do you do? And I was like, oh, no. And then he immediately pulled the mask down and was like, Ah, oh, blah, 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 table tennis, blah, blah, blah. And then he like went to shake my hand and I was like, whoa, yeah, what is it going to be? Nub it, mask up. <laughs> Stay back a little bit, please, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Keep your Burberry cap on. I don't want to be uh, anywhere near you. Can you what you move need, back a bit? What you need is a two-metre cattle prod. Just, <laughs> yeah. If you touch, if you come within yeah. this circle of power, I'm going to poke yeah. you with this thing and you're going to lie down fast. <laughs> so they were really nice and they were like, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll be watching you and all that. They were really nice. From a distance. I ended up getting, getting a fist bump. I was like, I'm going to try the fist it's bump. Elbow. I'm, the, yeah, it's not for me. And I got the anti back out, but I feel like I was offending them because, uh, yeah, it was offend? just a bit of an awkward. Yeah. You can offend them or wish on your deathbed that you had offended well, them. Well, yeah, there's been a bit of both in this. So. I definitely think uh, disabled people should have tears, as you know. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'm, I'm <mentioned. laughs> No, we can't punch people. So we just have tears. Oh, and so we... Please tell me you're going to run for politics after you finish with sports. Like, <laughs> just that's your platform. I think disabled people should have tasers. <laughs> tasers. I think we should have tasers, and we should be giving like parking tickets to people who fuck about in blue badge spots, and you can just put one yourself. Oh man! And you can write your own shit. Yeah, but you can't reach the windscreen, so it doesn't really help. Why have I got loads of parking tickets on my alloys? There's so many things you could use as a jet in the week to know. Oh, so yeah, no. Parking is just one we're really infuriated. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah. well, you know what, since we're on a special occasion, let's go for uh, top three worst things about... Well, no, not worst things. Top three things that annoy you the most about what people do towards you guys as being people in wheelchairs. Well, Jack's mentioned one, I think. Yeah. Uh, obviously, not asking straight up. Yeah. The parking, obviously... Uh, yeah. Not all like disabilities are visible. I understand that, but when yeah. you're off right, that's your toy. You're taking the piss, mate. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, yeah. I don't want to go for a food one. I've got stairs. one. Stairs. Stable. <laughs> Fuck stairs. stairs. Yeah. <laughs> Why is everyone not ramp? Like, I don't want a house, but it's got a massive ramp. Do you know how long <laughs> right. houses have to be? <laughs> Just so that you don't <laughs> want to ramp like that. <laughs> Steep the ramp. You have to have a slap. Yeah, picture this, like, lay, like gladiators trying to get up. Lay, lay down a piece of wood on the stairs, right? And imagine that being your ramp. Exactly. Like, I want the attic roof. Yeah. Oh, are you going to go there? I want the ramp from the attic to the floor. You've got to open your front door before and just go straight out and open it. Yeah, it's just one vertical drop. It's like a half pipe, basically. Just, yeah. <laughs> you get one Bill direction. Like driveway, driveway, Slovenia, to be fair as well. Well, yeah, exactly, yeah. Gravel. Well, you've done it once, you do it again. <laughs> one thing that pisses me off is all being disabled. Yes. Is disabled toilets aren't for able-bodied people to go for a shite in. Oh, That's not yeah. what disabled oh, toilets yeah. are for. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Literally, it's not the staff and we have it. we have members of our coaching team yeah. in our squad that actively go for shites in the table toilets so and have to go inside and like what? It's not for you to have a shite. Also, have sex in the nightclubs. It's for disabled people. It's not for you to shag. If you if you go to the gym, don't take mirror selfies because the mirror's better than the disabled toilet. <laughs> it's for disabled people to go to the toilet. That's literally what it's for. Disabled toilet, not knobhead mirror place. That's not what it's called. <laughs> we need a room for something called our fucking wheelchair. Yeah. You boys. <laughs> To be fair, to, I, I made an exception once because I let a couple in a, in a nightclub toilet because they looked they really wanted to get in and I just finished, I was quite drunk and I was like, ah, yeah, go on, be all right. Because they, they were waiting patiently outside, they were all the oh hands and they tried the door but I was in there. So I came out and I was really quite drunk as it was. And then I went to shut it and they went to walk off and I was like, nope, come back, I'll open it for you. Oh, I've got the, ha- the happy couple. In you go. <laughs> Jack, in the, Jack in the happy drink. Yeah, bloody Cupid yeah. over there. <laughs> we sat there with a toga with a bow and arrow. So is that it's what happens in nightclubs? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. what he didn't tell him is he was filming it and he's going to sell the footage. Absolutely. Just yeah. uh, purely for blackmail. <laughs> <laughs> Set up a camera in there before he finished. <laughs> See, it's, I've, this is going to sound weird. I've never been to a nightclub. I've never even remotely what? wanted to. I hate absolutely hate that environment really so does that actually happen and people get knocking up in toilets and stuff oh yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, jesus yeah. christ yeah because yeah, i used to work at a pub and that was rough as a dog's arsehole uh, yeah. I, I used to often walk in in to like gangs of like six guys doing coke off a toilet yeah uh, but that's less, about yeah. as weird as it got and that was always weird because they <laughs> would always threaten to be the shit out of me um <laughs> which was not a fun environment yeah uh, <laughs> but you know you, I, didn't, I didn't you know, work in the- you worked in the corner of the shop and got held by a knife point, didn't you? Oh, shit, yeah, my first job. Yeah. When I was 15, <laughs> and it wasn't a knife, it was a machete. <laughs> but you know what the guy was stealing? Chris, you haven't had much luck either, have you? No. 
No, well, I, no, not really. Oh, gosh. Uh, yeah, you, you know what the guy was trying to steal, though? This is great. He threatened my life with a machete for four cans of Stella. <laughs> that one sale for like £3.50. <laughs> so I was, work, I was working in this corner shop, right, and I'm just filling the shelves. Like 15, literally first job. I've been in it maybe a month. And uh, I'm getting paid like fucking buttons an hour. Like I think it was like £3.50 or something stupid like that. And I didn't know better. I was 15. I didn't know you're supposed to get paid more than that. But anyway, I'm filling the shelves and this guy walks in. And they're all bagheads. It's witness. They all look the same. Uh, so Sorry, witness, but I'm not. Um, so <laughs> they walk in. He had six fingers as well. Probably, yeah. 12 eyes, four toes. Um, yeah, so he, he came in and he, you know, he goes to the, to the booze fridge, which is where most customers went because they're all pissheads. And he, <laughs> he opens it and then he just sort of, he holds it, like not even tries to hide it and just starts walking out. And so the shop owner is behind the till. It's like, hey, 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 you got to pay for that. And the guy just keeps, just keeps walking straight past him. And he says to me, go stop him. I'm like, excuse me? I'm like holding a tin of beans. <laughs> like, do what now? Stop a man who's like 45 and I'm 15 holding beans. Like, what am I supposed to do? So I went out and I was like... I was, I was, so you went out. I did. I, I, I had to. Anyway. I went out and I, I just said, uh, excuse me, you got to pay for them. And he just opened his jacket and pulled out the machete. He went, no, I don't. It's like, nope, you don't. See ya. <laughs> just walk back in. You can have the beans as well. Yeah, yeah, I'll make you on these. <laughs> yeah. I'm warm up ice over a fire. <laughs> like, I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. You know, when your heart goes, really, fuck that. I don't even, I don't want this job anyway. Like, whatever, man, you just take it. Oh, like, God. Yeah. He's probably dead now, so it's all good. But I mean, yeah. like, I couldn't believe it. So yeah, when you when you start at that point with jobs, nothing else really yeah, phases you. Nothing phases you. Like yeah, I've, yeah. I've I've told Jack before, like when he, I've worked in two cinemas and it was over the course of like four years, um, and you see some weird shit, like you know the kind of stuff you guys are talking about in in toilets and nightclubs. Yeah. Just imagine that, but in cinemas with other in people. In the back row. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we used to get a lot of travellers coming in when I worked at the Cine World. Yeah. Um, and every now and again, you would catch them on the back row, the big screen. And one time I caught them and they were swapping. So that was nice. Oh, wow. They were having a full-on party. Um, and yeah, so we, we kicked them out. And what then, film was it? Honestly, was it I, can't, I can't remember. I think, I think it was Twilight or something. What did you say? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no, but, but, I was um, going to say wife swap. We're going to go back. Wife swap the film. It's that, not, God, that be just, boring. Jesus Christ. Cool. Like live, live timeline wife swap. <laughs> no, it wasn't that. But uh, no, I remember after we kicked them out and I was clearing the screen... I was brushing up back there, you know, and I was like, there's something shiny in the corner. <laughs> and I brush it up. <laughs> oh, no. And it's it's her undercrackers with the uh, the little silver discs on them. You know, like, oh, like no. they all wear. <laughs> it's like, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> but in, in that same oh, screen, shit. but a different time. Actually, this screen, this particular screen, three times has had weird shit happen in it whilst I've been there. One time we were cleaning up a screen and it was, I think it was, uh, I can't remember what film it was, but it was a popular big release because it was in the big mm. screen. And I got to the back row again. And I pick up a I pick up a can to like you, you pour stuff out in the bucket so like the drinks go in the bucket popcorn goes in the bin bag so you don't get like bags full of liquid yeah, uh, yeah. and I, anyway I pick up a can to throw it in the bin like you normally do you pour the the slummy out and then throw it in the bin and I pick it up and it's full like it's weird it's full but it's open and I went wait it's warm it's like oh for fuck's sake <laughs> somebody's pissed in a can <laughs> it's like oh, first of all God. the the risk to reward is way off <laughs> I mean the toilet's like a minute walk tops. You know, yeah. and it's it's, Don't a, miss the film. it's a can. Yeah, exactly. How good is this film going to be? It's a can. It's just it's only a sharp metal edge. That say, is the hole. Oh, it's got some risky bits. Like, yeah, it's you're risky. nipping your foreskin there, I mean, aren't you? Jesus how how much have you got to accept the fact that you've got a teeniest peanut in the world to use a can to piss in during a film? Also, think about the sound of an empty can, right? Just imagine <laughs> the first couple of seconds of that. That must have been loud. <laughs> when you go to see a film after work, loading your stress, you're going, he's having a, he's having a piss. What the fuck on your own? <laughs> oh, I've not, there's, there's been worse. Right, one of the worst ones. There's two more left. Don't worry, guys. We're almost wrapped up. There's two more. <laughs> one of them I wasn't there for, but Charlie was. Uh, and it was a big, big screen. Again, I think this might have been Twilight or like High School Musical or something massive like that. And uh, they were cleaning up a screen. It was so busy that they had the managers in there as well because normally they just mm. sit in the office and do manager shit. Um, but they they were actually helping bushing up and stuff. And one of the girls went to bush something up, and ah, somebody shot in a screen. And so there's something on the floor. <laughs> and the boss, her boss is like, that's a brownie because you know we have like brownie Sundays. 
Yeah, so yeah. it's like I was just a chunk of bounty. He went to pick it up and he went, "Oh, wait, no, just in case." And he got the brush. <laughs> he got the brush to brush it up, and it smeared. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> and he could have did. He could have barehanded that because he thought it was a brownie. <laughs> a bit of shit goes a long way. <laughs> it does. It really. It really does. It. It definitely clears out the room as well. Shit job, Jesus. Oh, God. But um, it really was. Pretty shit, yeah. But the the most the most daring one that I ever saw was when I worked in Odeon, my first cinema job, and it wasn't that long into it. I remember the Golden Compass was out, mm. which it flopped, but it was a good, it was an alright film, like, but it was really really popular when it came out. And it's a kids' film, it's you know like, a, like it's like a kids' Lord of the Rings or Lion the Witch and the Wardrobe that kind of thing. And anyway, we were cleaning that up. It's only a small screen, and we're cleaning it. And towards the back of the cinema, now in in Odeon, the doors at the back. So you open the door and there's the back row. So there's nothing yeah. weird normally happens there. It's normally the front rows. So anyway, I'm brushing up and I'm like, there's an empty condom, condom wrapper here. Like, <laughs> first of all, step one, that's ballsy. But also, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing in the kids' film? <laughs> but the worst, the very worst part is that we then found the used condom on the second row oh, from the wow. front. <laughs> Meaning that somebody went... Yeah. That'll do. Oh, no. <laughs> so that went over an audience of children and, and the parents. And I can't begin to imagine what that would, would have been like in the moment. But um, oh, yeah, God. so that's that. That wouldn't have been that wouldn't have been a good situation to be in. But it's not ideal, no. Yeah, there, there's some of the situations deal with working in the cinema. So, yeah, yeah, you're right. We ain't coming over proper jobs, really. We just play with the oldest. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, <laughs> but you've got stories. You just can't tell them. <laughs> yeah, true. You get you get Olympic villages to deal with. They're, they're proper stories. Um, but yeah, so yeah, w- working can be uh, yeah. a bit mental. So. All this was stemmed from your idiot of the week being card. I was going to say, yeah. Who's <laughs> just yeah. Well, proper yeah. 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 Who's your idiot of the week, Tom? Who have you got? I'm going to go where people are driving on their phones, man. It really oh, appears. Yes, yeah. thank like, you. I'm not going to yeah. say, I know good two shoes. I've done it in the past when I had my BMW and I was a little knobhead. But from, like, now your phone can do everything. They've got CarPlay in them for fuck's sake. Mm. Use CarPlay. Text back with CarPlay. It speaks to you. Yeah. How fucking picked up? Yeah. They couldn't make it any get more simple, could they? Literally. <laughs> kill so many people on the road. Just get off yeah. the phone and put it away for fuck's sake. It's not hard. Yeah. Yeah. The amount of really times... Really appear to me. When, when, I, when I was driving to work, I, I used to do like 250 miles a week on the motorways. So yeah. like I had like two motorways to connect to work. And... So I'd see a lot of knobheads on the phones and I'd always yeah. just like give them the horn or something, just watch them shit themselves yeah. and then get back to it. Um, I've seen lorry drivers and shit do it. Yeah, like, that, that's yeah. a scary it's bit. It's always like lorry drivers so and stuff. So dangerous, man. It's like yeah. insane. Literally, you can't you stop. Control that. You're killing <laughs> yeah. a lot of people. Like. Yeah. So, yeah. But I, like, I as someone who's learned to drive, I don't understand how you do it because as I'm driving, like the instructor told me to put it in B mode, like just to change the gear. It's an automatic change the yeah. gear. I looked down for a second and thought I was going to crash. So let's just like glance down and That's it. Gone. To be fair, how, how do you how do you do that on what, the phone? Like, once understand. once you've been driving for a bit, it just becomes second nature. Like the amount yeah, of times yeah. I've got home and like shit, when did I get here? Like you know, <laughs> you, you, you sometimes you're just so in autopilot that yeah, you, you, yeah. you yeah, sort of you, that you miss chunks times, of yeah. journey. Like oh fuck, I should have paid attention. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna lie though. Yeah. I drove home from Sheffield once yeah. for training camp, and it was a bank all day Friday, and I literally wanted to yeet my car into the barrier. <laughs> So I can get airlifted again to Washington. <laughs> so I can get home. It took like, me nine drive. and a half hours oh, to get God. home. Oh, um, on a three and a half hour drive, I was I was ready to commit. Like, yeah. I, I, <laughs> you're like, yeah, I did it once. I made it once. I can do it again. Yeah. Do you know if you brought your back again below where you broke it, would it make a difference? I don't know what it make. You just could you just do oh, it again. Oh yeah, man, I'm fucked anyway. Man. There's not much more I could go wrong. What if you do the opposite direction? Does it fix it? Is that how science works? <laughs> yeah. Have you tried that yet? I mean, come on, go out. There's a handy out there right now. <laughs> we'll get some fat lass on your lap. Well, actually, they break my neck again. They started walking. Now that'd be creepy. <laughs> you just did it just that Absolutely. right little angle. Roll reversal, like. <laughs> <laughs> it's a miracle like Jesus I... coming out of the car yeah. <laughs> Jesus coming out of the car did you say yeah because he'll be walking again like a miracle I thought you meant like okay, 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 like I, you. I was thinking it was a cave but yeah all right. <laughs> I was thinking the old story you know, yeah. Jesus walking out of a speed of 500 didn't see that in the bible <laughs> God of all the cars for him to drive that absolute redemption bitches <laughs> 
<laughs> at least he's economical. That's what matters. It's yeah, true. Um, oh god. Yeah. Who's your idiot of the week, Chris? My idiot of the week. Right. I, I'm sick. I'm getting sick of these. I've got three Instagram accounts technically. I don't really use any of them. But I've got my personal one. I've got yeah. the comedy one that I use. And I've got yeah. my artist one, which I, I I use once every 14 years. Okay. Um, <laughs> and so when I get like a spam message, I get it in all of them. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm so fucking sick of these spam messages that you get of some absolute slut. Uh, a picture of one at least. Saying, you know, ooh, come on me tits or whatever it is. They, they, always open, <laughs> they always open with something really strong. You know, it's... it's <laughs> It's, ne- it's never like, hello, how are you? It's always straight to ten. <laughs> it I is, never though. thought I'd hear my own brother say, oh, come on, me tits. <laughs> I've never asked you, you just do it. No, <laughs> no, I, uh, no, you always get like these kind of stupid messages. Yeah, I don't even... mean. I'm thinking, who, yeah. somebody must apply to these, otherwise they'd stop doing them. Who, which thirsty motherfuckers out there are actually <laughs> responding to these messages like, oh, I've got a chance. Tracy from Dublin wants a bit. You know, it's like, I, yeah. I, I don't get why they keep doing it. And they're my idiots because it's so annoying. Because you're like, yeah. oh, somebody's, somebody's actually sent me a message. This might be a helpful connection. Maybe yeah. it might be a potential listener. It could be a potential viewer of art. It could be a collaborator. Yeah. But no, it's some prick trying to show me her tits for money. And I'm not <laughs> Come interested. Come on, Ted. Come on, Ted. <laughs> she shared it before. Find Indian bloke in Mumbai trying to get his click Probably, yeah. <laughs> oh, I, it's probably that woman from Korea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you wish it was a woman. <laughs> oh, she'll come on your tips, Tom. Jesus Christ! <laughs> what are you trying to say, mate? I got a pigeon check. Well, at least we've got the she episode had, title. She had a biggest cock than you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, def- definitely not cutting any of this out, by the way. So, just oh. <laughs> FYI, be prepared for tweets. <laughs> oh, so, <laughs> one of the coaches what said to me that? this week, he's been listening. He's been listening to the podcast as well. Right. I was going to give him a shout. Out. So shout out Rushy because he said he's been listening to the podcast. So yeah, Rushy, yeah. what a name! You know. I love that name, Big Ian Rush fan. I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready to get caught using the disabled toilet space. Because I was about to say that. Yeah, if you're the one shitting in the toilet, yeah. you know you've been clocked. Less of that, Rushy. <laughs> I'm sure you're a swell gentleman. You would never do such a thing. Never abuse such power. Um, but yeah, so that's oh. the idiots covered, I think. So that moves us on to the heroes, Jack. So who's yeah. your delicious icing this week? My uh, my hero of the week is the Joe Rogan podcast. Oh, that's a surprise. Which is, yeah, that's the. I've only been li- I've been listening to it last few weeks. Yeah. I listened to one with Miley Cyrus, which mm-hmm. I was really surprised at, actually because it was quite interesting. Yeah, she's, she's quite an interesting person. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, too fair. And this week I listened to Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson oh, was on his one this week. It was fascinating, <laughs> but equally fucking terrifying. Because yeah. he's back fighting now, Mike Tyson. The shape like he's, he's in. He's, yeah, he's, for like, he's what, like 50 something? In. But the yeah. way he was talking about boxing, so he yeah. said he finished boxing and he closed that bit of his life over. And he was like, I didn't want to unleash that animal again. He was like, if I start fighting again. He was like, violence makes me hard. He said, it makes me physically horny to hurt yeah. someone. And I was like, you, well, yeah, you, you can kill someone. He was shooting his wife, <laughs> <didn't> he, so. <laughs> so I was like, yeah. Mate, people are in prison for that shit. Yeah, I, was gonna I think say. he was, wasn't he? <laughs> and he was like, when, I, when I'm in a camp for a fight, I can't be around my family, my children a lot yeah. because they get too aggressive. He's just in that mode. It. Once, yeah, once I've unlocked that side of me, I can't do it. I was like, you could kill someone, legit kill someone. That is a scary bastard. Didn't he? But like... No, he raped someone. Oh, okay, so, yeah, so, yeah. Okay, just, just a rape, all right, fine. <laughs> just a rape. Just one of them, yeah, okay. It's casual he didn't pillage, he just raped. Be oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> we yeah. shouldn't really laugh about rape. But... Yeah, exactly, no, definitely not. But... Oh, yeah, but yeah but, so uh, Mike's scary. Yeah, but it was quite a, quite a good insight, because he said he was fascinated by um, old school like leaders, like, um, Please don't like say of it, emperors though. and stuff. Oh, right, I used okay, to get good. a lot of inspiration from him. He's like, you wouldn't expect Mike Tyson to read like historical novels, would you? Like, I wouldn't with expect Mike Tyson to read. No. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I know he's got like a weed farm these days and stuff. Because I, I watched yeah. when he was on last time, like a few yeah, years yeah. ago. He just opened his business, and I think he was just thinking of starting boxing again. Like he just yeah, started he's, training. Yeah, he's uh, got a date. He's fighting Roy Jones Jr. End of the year. Jeez. But he's uh, yeah, it's ridiculous. You watch the videos of him, like he's not missed yeah, a beat. Yeah, I've, like, I've seen, I've seen the, the video yeah. of him training. It's like uh, we're thirty yeah. years ago. He's right back there, <laughs> but the yeah, guy's yeah. fifty now. It's like, how do you do this? I couldn't <laughs> exactly, do that in my yeah. prime. I, I know I'm yeah, I'm already yeah. past my prime. I couldn't do yeah. it then. <laughs> yeah. you, know, you could put me in a room with the world's best like workout guy. What they call trainer? The world's best yeah. trainer. Work for, like, guy. look, I don't do it. You might you might have guessed. No, the world's best <laughs> trainer for like a year solid, and I couldn't come up with even a swing. Towards him, <laughs> yeah. The guy's, the guy's a bloody genius when it comes to that stuff. Yeah, 
Uh, but yeah, so, so you've been listening to that podcast and it's it's a good one. It's good one to listen yeah, it's to. been good to I've listened to loads of people. I listened to a guy called Ron White today, comedian. Never oh, yeah. heard of him, but I quite listen. I quite like listening to ones I've never heard because yeah. usually I just like <clears throat> rambling. I just like listening to like weird shit. And Joe Rogan's moved to uh, Texas now, hasn't he? So, yeah, like, he's, he's going to Spotify sort of stuff, and so. stuff as well. $50 yeah. million dollar deal or something. Yeah, take that. Well, I mean, can we sell it? our podcast 50 million, Chris? We'll take that one. Give, give it a few more episodes. <laughs> <laughs> 50 quid now's we've got Tommy on yeah we'll get the we'll get the big numbers yeah. in so yeah we'll be sorted after this one this is when we deal this is when we contact sponsors oh, should... after this one yeah <laughs> oh, no, I didn't mean oh. anything I said let's just <laughs> it's all a lie just <laughs> just so you know folks nothing is serious in this podcast we don't yeah, mean a goddamn thing not, no. <laughs> please don't well, fire you... anybody in the view I was going to say if you use the offender tune off, but like, I, think, I feel like you probably should have done that yeah, well before maybe now. Maybe a bit late. <laughs> we definitely got to put a disclaimer on them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, they've got one. They've got one. They, they know by now. If, listen, if, you, if you're 11 episodes into this chat, you know what you're coming for. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So, so have you got a hero this week, Tom? I actually got two. Nice. So go nice. Then. I'm going to start with the one first because I don't want to make it too big headed. Okay. I'm going to go with you, Jack. Um, oh, so you that's give me nice. The Take credit that. last time. Um, <laughs> But no, I just gotta give him credit, mate. Like, I know you've been through a difficult time in the past and like come through it yeah. dark times as well. Um, and I've seen him being able to when he's been through yeah, it yeah. and to um, the way you've talked about it in the media and come out and like made it more inclusive in sport and yeah. showing people that it's not to be scared to talk about it and there's opportunities to talk to people and get out of them deeper situations is inspiring, mate. And yeah. And, I'm proud of you, to be honest. Oh, cheers, mate! Fantastic. Honestly, that means a lot. Like, I know we're uh, we're doing like comedy podcasts and stuff, but like, yeah, I, I really, it's good I to really, really do. Things. Get, oh, get the actual, like, real conversation going yeah. as well. <laughs> I know. Like, like just uh, like the, the three of us. Like, we we I've been through a lot. Used to have been the well, two biggest factors that have helped me through it all. So it's been been a crazy journey, and uh, yeah, you've seen it at my best and worst, Tom and Chris. So have you? Yeah. So it's been. Been, it's been a long gold journey we're on the other side hopefully so uh, exactly yeah. that's it the trifecta nah. of power is complete yeah, yeah. now that we're all men do we make like one mecha godzilla like absolutely it, are we yeah. one big force yeah. of positivity now now that we're all in the same space yeah. <laughs> Chris, it's like we'll be we'll be a wheel so just stand in the middle of us more we'll like perfect i love it yeah. yeah it's like the old power rangers we all combine together <laughs> Oh god, that'd be so good. It's all fun and games, so I get, I guess, I get for you, Bob, and you're both asking for a bit of cut from it. Cause you're like, you wouldn't be here, you would have topped yourself, you went for us. See, you there you go. That's grams. it. You can, that's it. Like, yeah, that's why I do it. <laughs> You've definitely <laughs> fucked it up. Yeah. You just said we're the reason. You said yes. Yeah, so exactly. Fuck. Exactly. <laughs> I've only ever said good things yeah. purely for investment reasons. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one day this will pay off. Fucking, but you know. <laughs> Remember it's that like, time I gave him a lift on my knee down to <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Remember that one time at band camp? Yeah. Oh God. It's like everyone's being saying to me, like, oh, why have you only started driving at 25? It's about time. Ha ha. And I just laugh it off. And I'm like, mate, if you knew me two years ago, I was going to swing that car to a, a wall. Yeah, exactly. I was not in a position to drive. Exactly. Like, I did yeah, not want to put myself 100%. in a position where I could drive a death machine. Like, I didn't want to. I was Absolutely. thinking, first time I got on the road, that was going straight into the next brick wall. But I thought, now I'm all right. I can drive. Yeah, so. Sound <laughs> like, mind and all that. It's, no, it's like the you same can't really oh. fit that onto a Facebook comment when like a no bed comments it can you see yeah, it's like really oh, yeah doesn't being busy really <laughs> no but that's the say... second one though yeah. is um because Jack's getting a bit big headed now he's uh talking about it's himself it's almost that like got to calm, <laughs> oh, calm him down a little bit uh, <laughs> Megan Shackleton's mother Jane Shackleton um, she's fit as well <laughs> <laughs> Megan's mom I didn't say that I didn't say home. that you have just got your talking in shit, damn it. You're having a punch. And that shit hurts off Meg. If anyone's had a punch off Meg, you know that shit. Jeez, you think Mike Tyson's strong? Jesus Christ. <laughs> she that punched shit. someone in the squad and I dislocated their arm. <laughs> yeah, it's genuine. She's got that fiery she's passion. Around. But no, i got to give a shout out to Jane Shark. I'm talking because uh, she's been out with my mother, sort tickets and hotels out for uh, nice. Tokyo. Oh, that's so cool. she's yeah. been massive out. So I, yeah. yeah. Shout out to Jane. That's nice. There you go. Yeah, Jane's an absolute legend. Like she's, yeah. I've been around Megan a few times. She's yeah. so nice. Like she, and yeah. she's always very supportive. Like the whole squad as well. So yeah, that's what you want. Like, Bless her. like squad mum. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, she, she's really nice to be fair. And, yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Well, that's good to know. Two heroes, two very worthy heroes. I think one yeah. of them's a bit of a nubbed, but you know, one of them's yeah. nice. You Jane, what an awful person. <laughs> I'm sure. Oh, Jack. You're so, you're so getting Megan, a Megan punch. Megan is going to uh, fucking kill you. Right, Megan, if and you're I listening to this. I'm going to watch this podcast back and go to the minute you see it. 
I'm just show her that bit. No, yeah. no other context. I'm actually going to clip it and just send it to you. <laughs> oh, please film Meg punching him. Please, for me. I want to see that. That's going on YouTube. <laughs> just, it's in the papers the next day. But he gets punched straight out of wheelchair. <laughs> yeah. Cripple versus cripple. <laughs> It felt like Robot Wars. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> hey, there's a show idea. You know, we get the Hunt of a Funny Empire going. Get that on TV. Remember when I, I winded it once, didn't I, Jack? I yeah, I did, yeah. Properly winded me as well. Right. I couldn't that? breathe. I thought I was going to have to give myself CPR. That was going to go on. I didn't do that. I thought I was getting down and giving him the kiss of death. Like, I, can't, I can't remember what I did, but I just remember this arm swinging towards my chest and the last thing I couldn't breathe, I was choking. <laughs> it's probably because of cold Wales, a bus stop in England, you prick. <laughs> Wales is a bus stop in England. No, it's not. We've got a I've never heard that. That's... <laughs> Surely it'd be a pause, it's on the side. I had to, I had to call him a legal immigrant when he's in, in, in Sheffield or a Wales in Boston, England. Mate, we are the coolest flag in the world, shut the fuck up. Yeah, that's true. They've got a dragon. <laughs> dragon, it's yeah. Flash. It's perfect. We're a dragon. It's lovely. I, I love that dragon. <laughs> that's not a bad Welsh accent. That's all I can do. I, I, you know, ask my wife how many times a week I go, it's lovely. <laughs> it's, it's, I don't know why. It sounds a bit like Nesser off Gavin and Stacey, but I'll give you that. Hey, <laughs> whatever. Oh, come on. How good is Gavin and Stacey? Like? Is I've it? never oh, seen it. It makes me want to go to Barry Island. It really, really does. Uh, Barry Island? It's so good. Yeah, I've Wait, never been, don't think. I've been. You've been. No. Have I? Was you not, not born been. yet? I have a I trophy. Know. Where is it? Oh, man. You have a trophy? I've got a trophy. <laughs> I have a second place Mr. Macho from Barry <laughs> Allen. <laughs> yes. No, you don't. I do. <laughs> right. Wait a minute. You two talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> He's definitely going to go back. <laughs> He's going to get the shittiest plastic trophy out on his little this, Mr. This Ma- Macho like, way trophy. It's going to be like one of them... Um, Oh, the old table tennis. Um, <laughs> Probably, yeah, the little plastic ones. Yeah, yeah, the plastic <laughs> ones. You know. <laughs> I remember doing a table tennis competition once, and they gave me a plastic trophy and a golfer on top instead. They bought the wrong trophy, and it was the golfer. <laughs> I'd love to see you playing golf. I can't find the fucker. Are you back? Can you hear us? Are we back? Oh, no. Are we, are we running? Wait, oh. wait. Oh, hang on. Oh, I pulled me it's a very spe- Professional. It's very special. It's very special. I am very special. I'm back. He's I, back. Pulled, drum roll I pulled my headphones yeah, out and I've roll. not even found the bloody, the bloody, uh, the trophy. Oh, we were oh. excited. I know. I couldn't find it. Oh, I do have it though. God. I promise. I'll, I'll tweet it when I find it. Where the fuck is you're it? You're bullshitting. I mean, it's a very niche bullshit, but I think you're bullshitting. It's the nichest <laughs> bullshit if it is. Yeah. No, it, it exists somewhere. But basically, I went there on holiday. We went there on a family holiday, like. We would have been, I don't know, like maybe I was probably like eight or nine, like really okay. young. And yeah, yet yeah. We, we used to go like with, with with a group of people on holiday every, every year. And yet I went there and me and there's another guy from the group and we entered this Mr. Macho competition. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. It's been found. Hang on. Hang Someone's on. got Corona behind you, Chris. What's going on? I'd sail away to China. <laughs> a ghost Corona found line. it. A coughing ghost just found it. Oh, I love I having coughing ghosts. The house and you started coughing around. Right, it's a bit buggered because it's very old. It's from 1996, so you were one, wow, Jack. Wow, I was one. <laughs> it says on it, Look the Barry that. Island Resort, Mr. Macho, 1996. You can't make <laughs> this shit up. Who beat you, Arnold Schwarzenegger? Who beat you that? It was actually the little scrawny kid who was in the group with us. I got second. But you know what? I'm quite proud of that because, yeah, if, oh. if that was 96, I was eight. I was eight years that old. That is fantastic. And First I smashed it. Reason. Second place. Yeah. What are the odds of that little Barry Allen? That. Also, that's that, better than any trophy we've won, to be fair. That, that, is, that, that, is that, there. that same year, right, we were at Barry Allen. There was a big music festival on. Um, and that was, it was like 1996 was the year for like yeah. 90s music. So they had this massive festival. And this festival had everyone you could think of from the 90s. Like the Spice Girls were there. Peter Andre was there. I could hear a mysterious girl in the distance. Like, it was crazy. <laughs> like, they had the whole lot there, and it was just madness. And I remember we stayed in this, like, really shitty, like, chalet where you had to put mm. coins in the meter to keep the power on. Like, it was that kind of chalet. Um, <laughs> but they had an arcade, so I was happy. Uh, but, yeah, so, anyway, I don't know how we got to talk about Barry Island. Um, um, Gavin and Stacey. Stacey. Gone from oh, okay, is that, that, that's what oh, that's from. I've, I've never seen hey, it. So. Oh, I like Brent. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I like Brent. <laughs> I've let the batteries at the remote, you see. <laughs> that scene. It's lovely. <laughs> I'm just going for some nesser time. 
Well, we just lost Duck. any Duck. Welsh Duck. viewership we had. A Welsh accent. <laughs> yeah, Do you know, you've, you might have oh. noticed with Jack's accents, they always steer towards yeah. India. Absolutely. No matter yeah. what they are. Get off my mountain. That's, that's Indian. <laughs> See, we're getting there already. <laughs> Don't do Jamaican, Jack, whatever you do. Get off my bloody sheep. No, see. <laughs> All right, anyway, before we get cancelled for the 12th time this episode. Um, he he's goes... probably that guy who emails you about his tits, right? Yeah, yeah Chris, probably, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, he's in Barry Island. I'll ask him next time. Are you in Barry oh, Island? Good. What's your uh, hero of the week? Yeah, what's oh, your yes. hero of the week? My hero, what is it? Oh, yeah, I've uh, I've been watching a bit of YouTube at my lunch break sometimes. And I saw the other day that there was a Jack Septicai was on. Do you know about Jack Septicai? He's a he's a big gamer guy. He's he's got millions of followers. Okay. Uh, and he did a thing where he was inspired by some of the channels who've done similar stuff. So I'll name them as well as like a guy called Critical, a guy called Mr Beast. who has like a lot of money, and there is like tournaments, competitions stuff. online. He does, but he's not. Uh, he's actually just a nice guy. He, he gets a lot of. It's quite clever, really. He gets a lot of sponsorship deals that give him a lot of money. He then uses yeah. that lot of money to make viral videos, which then make nice. a lot of money, which allows them to make Clever. more money. So Clever. just things like extreme hide and seek, where him <laughs> him and ten of his friends are, will go to like an abandoned theme park or something, or yeah. like some abandoned city in America. And it'll be like a ghost town from like the Wild West. And he'll say, right, okay, all go hide. You've got 12 hours. Whoever's not found at the end, like the last person to be found, wins yeah, yeah. 70 grand. You know, stuff like that. Jesus Christ. Or last yeah. week he bought an island for seven hundred thousand dollars <laughs> and it was like Jeez. all right we're going to do some tasks whoever wins wins the island <laughs> it's like oh what? my seven hundred thousand dollar <laughs> island but anyway this guy uh he, he started doing stuff where he'd go onto twitch and you know people stream games and stuff on twitch yeah, he, yeah. he'd go and find people who've got like five or six viewers you know really small viewerships yeah and he'd just donate them thousands of dollars and Jeez. you know like gift subs and stuff and they're just they'd be so grateful for it because when you're starting yeah. off with that kind of stuff you just want to entertain people you want people to be happy yeah, and yeah. you struggle with a shitty setup for so long and then eventually you slowly slowly build stuff up and so these kind of like these kind of donations that go in it, you can see it makes massive difference in people's lives and yeah. usually people will either be over the moon or they just instantly start crying or one guy just called his mum yeah. <laughs> like straight away <laughs> <laughs> mum ram I, just give I me 70 grand <laughs> where he's like oh for 30 seconds every time they blink we're going to give them 100 pounds yeah like, that was it that's one, one of them yeah craziness yeah he's like every time you blink I'll give you 100 dollars and then this girl only blinked twice in like 15 seconds and he's like <laughs> alright let's not do 15 seconds let's give them a minute <laughs> and then reduce <laughs> the amount we give per blink <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, he, imagine if we had a Twitch uh, thing between the three of us, two wheelchairs. Jeez, we're on about at least hundred grand there from him. If we've got two wheelchairs, <laughs> we'll just get Tom crying into the controller. <laughs> I think you're forgetting something here, Jack. You, we're, we're all waist up. How's he going to know? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, no, we sit we'll with it get hanging my, behind you. So we get my top off on the video and get Tom's bottom off. We'd be like one, like one big wheelchair. I'll first. just I'll just fuse the cameras together. No one will know a no uh, yeah. thing. <laughs> really shit them when you start moving uh, but, um, but yeah so I, th I think the people who've been doing stuff at Axe, like I said I watched Jack Septicai's video recently that led me on this trail of other people who've done it and yeah. it, it was just it was just nice because he, he himself he said recently like he, he's such a big YouTuber he updates like Jack Septicai he updates almost every day and he's been struggling a bit mentally recently so he's mm. burnt out and stuff like that you know and bad, bad thoughts and things so he had some time off I think he had like a full month off when you're on a daily upload schedule for a full month yeah, is massive, a lot, yeah. you know. So he said he, he, every now and again when he has a bad day, uh, he just sort of powers through. But this time he thought he wants to try and do something. Like as he normally watches those videos of people getting subs and stuff. And he said it's really nice, wholesome, you know, footage just mm -hmm. cheers him up. So he wants to be the person doing that. You know, because then he can nice. feel good, know he's helping out people. And it will also help in the, in the grand scheme of improving his day as well, you know. So, uh, yeah, so I thought th those people who were doing that kind of stuff... Uh, taking a bad situation, just turning it around, and nice. that, that's what we need more of. You know, if if you can help somebody else, do help somebody Absolutely, else. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, I yeah, wish exactly. I wish I had the money to do that kind of stuff because that'd be so good. But alas, yeah, well, I do not. <laughs> I've been uh, I've not told you on this, but I've, I'm in conversations to start a, um, maybe like a fund or a charity. Oh, I'm right. race long, so I'm going to speak to Tom. This about isn't any NBA stuff, about is it? The podcast, but I'll talk about it now. Uh, basically. Um, <laughs> Like when we were younger in sport, we had people that helped us out buying wheelchairs, mm -hmm. buying equipment and stuff. And yeah. I thought if a group of like Paralympians got together and we all chucked in like 500 quid, then w once a year we could 
by a younger person, maybe that's a wheelchair, whether that's a, a new false leg, a new fencing sword, whatever, we could probably find someone as a group of like five of us. That's a nice just idea. Just to fund someone as a, as a thing. So I was, I was literally going to speak to Tom after the podcast, but I pressured him to give me money now to do it. <laughs> there you go, no pressure, Tom, but it's on video. So. But, yeah. Well, I think Jack, I was thinking about today, so. Hello. There's Karen, <laughs> <are we? laughs> oh, Kind of stores near you. <laughs> well, yeah, it, it sounds I like think... a nice idea, though. I like yeah, it. I think we should do it. I think we should definitely do it. So, yeah. I think, yeah, there, there's, um, what is it? Is it the Rotary track? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, like but Rotary helped um, me as well. I think it's only up till the age of 18, though, I think, they, they help yeah. Rachel. So, yeah, I think kind it'd of be good for, like, yeah, yeah, I think absolutely. that next cap needs a bit more help, if not yeah. really. Yeah. I know what you mean, actually. I remember, like, it's like when, um, when I was growing up, you had like student money, like the ELA that you get. Yeah, um, yeah. But yeah. then I was a, I was a bit more of a mature student at some at one point because I did college like three four times. Yeah. Um, and so it ran I ran out of that age bracket, but I was still yeah. like I need money. And there's a thing called yeah. the ALG, like the Adult Learning Grant. Oh yeah. It's basically the same thing, but you get less of it. But it's yeah. still nice to have something there, you know, something that yeah, can help. Yeah, some in sort that of support. Gap. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Cause- yeah. Because the thing about Paralympic sport, there's not so much able body. You can still be a high level Paralympian and be skinned. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. You can oh, still absolutely. be a really good level yeah. and not be able to fit a forge your next racket. You yeah, know, exactly. A lot of people don't realize that. They think because you've, yeah, got no like, realize it. because you've got like sponsors and success and stuff yeah, exactly. that you've got everything, but they don't realize that your sponsorships aren't usually like monetary. Absolutely. Like, you, yeah. you can't eat your yeah. fourth paddle of the year, you know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, true. It's just not how yeah. it works. So um, a lot of people like, you're like a professional athlete. We barely break a living sometimes, like you know what I mean? Yeah. So it'd be good to sort of give back to people that are help like we'd be in them situations and yeah. hopefully we'll be in a better situation. So hopefully we can get a group of us together from different sports, but different people you know. Exactly, just paying it forward. Yeah, try and give back, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just giving back. That's what that, really. yeah, exactly, that's a nice yeah. idea. I like that. Um yeah. Right, so <laughs> all right, this next bit. We we'll we'll wrap up soon, but don't worry, Tom, we're gonna put you on the spot here. Like usually, <laughs> don't worry, same with Jack and me as well. Usually, we have a segment where we do... Oh, Tom's froze. There he goes back. Yeah, normally we do a segment where we have like celebrity impressions. But as I said last week, right. we're, running, we're running out of celebrities that we can do impressions yeah. of badly. So we came oh, up with no. a different thing instead. So what we're going to do instead, <laughs> you're going to pub sing a song for us <laughs> with no, no lyrics, just drunken sounds. And we've oh, got to figure God. out what the song is. And if, it, if it's really good, we'll just stop at you. Yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> if it's a showstopper, we're like, oh, we've got what we need. It's in the yeah. can. Um, so you just got to pick oh, a song. Do it. So you're probably right on the yeah. spot. Yeah. In a minute, uh, Skype's just going to shut off. One of us will go first and show you if you want. All right, go on. Yeah, we'll we'll see how it goes. Go on, then. We'll get Jack warming you up. Right. Let me think Let me think <laughs> of a song. Yeah. What are we going to do? Guess the song? Yeah, yeah. You, basically, yeah. He's just got to okay. sing a song, but like not actually do any of the lyrics, just like drunken old man style. Uh, and good. we've got to figure out what the song is. Basically acting like a dribbler. and yeah. More or less, yeah. Just his usual self. No, <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Go for it. A Billy Dean is not a love. That's an easy one. I got my girl in the I am the one. Little impression chucked in there. A big end of my son. Hey, I had words. Oh, yeah. Not that way. Go carried away. I still don't get it. Wait, Jack, you need to do it with the Welsh accent. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, don't. It's you. Yeah. <laughs> It'll only get more offensive. Um, all right. Well, I, I know what it was. Do you want to take a stab? To <sighs> any, anything at all? Absolutely not. I just don't look like a man. All right. Well, I'm going to say that that was a terrible, terrible rendition of Billy Jean. That was the one. <laughs> I'll do it again like Buzzcock. Right. <laughs> Your turn, Tom. <laughs> oh, um, God. Time to sign off, then, because I can help. I don't really know how to do this. Do you um, want to go next, Chris, or do you want Tom to go next? It's up to you. Don't mind. Go on. I, go on, Chris. You go first. Idea. All like, right, you okay. literally put me on the spot. Dude. I know, I have. I'm sorry. It was <laughs> really bad. I, I'm, I meant to say before we started, and I didn't. And now I just feel kind of bad. <laughs> All right, so. 
I will lip me in the fifty fee 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 And I met a genie but will lip and dip do And the grit to grit to grit to grit to grit to grit It's pretty vain, she pretty vain It sounds like Bill Bobagans off the top Oh, so any, any, any clue, any idea? It was something by vamps Not the vamps, Yeah. The vamps Thank you <laughs> Thank you for correctly correctly saying the name of the correct See, band. This, it, it wasn't. This is how I, I watched the podcast. I like that. Man. That's, a deep, that's a deep cut. I like it. I've got a real fan here. I have here. absolutely no idea what that was. All right. It, I, I'll give you a clue. It was a busted song. Ooh. Hey, host test. No. Year 3000. It was a busted song that I know. Yes. <laughs> Year 3000. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing this. You know I'm not doing this because I am going to fucking do one thing. <laughs> What if we give you an artist and you can just pick a, yeah, one, one little true. bit? If, for example, if I said yeah. Bon Jovi, you can go... They're like living on a prayer intro, you know? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> what, all right. what about, uh, let me think of it, Queen. Can you do a Queen song? No, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with that's, that's No Jack from the guess. second album. No, I can't, man. <laughs> He's not Jody. My, my tires are deflating me. <laughs> Don't worry, Tom. We're not going to make you do it. It's fine. Oh, oh God. God. To be oh, fair. Oh, oh, hey, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, right. Have a guess, oh, Jack. What is it? Um, <laughs> That's a good note. I can't do it. A wumble way. That is from. Um, it's hyperventilating. The mighty jungle. <laughs> <laughs> the lion sleeps tonight. <laughs> this is the Hello Dave version. <laughs> <laughs> Hello Dave in the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Oh, well, that was good fun. Thank you for thank yeah, you. Yeah, I was good. Enjoyed that. Um, oh, that was my, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what just happened, but we'll we'll, we'll that, talk that, it. That that was the fly going wrong now. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, Fair we're enough. tilting on the edge here. We're tilting on the edge of <laughs> tilting. Oh, oh, Jack, remember when you threw me up a chair actually in the tree? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What happened? I do. He, he... So he was coming. He was coming up a ramp, yeah. uh, down the ramp, but he caught a stone like in his front wheel, and like he'd fell, but his hands on the floor, so he'd not fell out properly, but his hands on the floor. So right. I thought I, it was basically on my knees, begging, please, Jack, get yeah. him back in his chair. <laughs> yeah, so it was only me and him around. And I thought I'll just push his shoulders to get his, to get him back in his chair without locking I forgot the, to put the brakes on. Yeah, so I just <laughs> pushed his Straight shoulders, away. and the chair went backwards, and he just fell out of his chair. Oh god, that's yeah. such that is such a Jack maneuver. Just <laughs> let's just do step three, skip one and two. <laughs> Why is it working? Yeah, I just took like a sack of shit on the floor, waiting for the coaches to come in. <laughs> At least it wasn't on a hill; it didn't roll down. It. Oh. Both be buggered. It's only that time in Slovenia when I seen your ring piece by accident because you felt because <laughs> <laughs> oh. you. Was... <laughs> is this T-shirt number six? This one time in Slovenia. <laughs> oh, it's like a Japanese flag. Welcome to Japan. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh god. When was this? Remember when you'd try to get your shoes off but you'd slipped and you would you would get undressed for bed and you'd just like fell out of your chair and they had to get you back in your chair and your ass in the air. <laughs> Face down and <Yeah. laughs> literally if you could see a class one twerk, it was more or less that it was <laughs> I'll YouTube that afterwards. <laughs> if it's any class one twerk, I don't know. I was gonna say yeah. Oh goodness me! Well, you know what? Oh god! <laughs> well, that's probably a pretty good note to leave it on, folks. Absolutely. <laughs> um, you want my ring piece? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not? Eh? I mean, I've got nothing else on my list. Uh, we normally would ask. Yeah. <laughs> well, no. See, no, normally we'd would end on a question for the. Well, we'll go over the question that we had for. Yeah. The people who we asked questions to. Man, that drink yeah. has hit me. You know what I mean? We'd ask the audience questions last week. We'd answer them this week. Uh, but, alas, we've run out of time because we've okay. been going for an hour and a half so far. Well, believe it or not. It's felt like 10 minutes. Quick, yeah. We normally do about an hour. <laughs> yeah, so we're already, quick, too, But with a guest, I don't mind going longer because it's, it's extra Absolutely, fun. Absolutely, yeah. It's extra fun. Um, so we'll <laughs> roll over the question to next week, get some more answers in as well. It's always Perfect. good to do that. Plus, yeah. I don't know. I love the way you used roll over because we're in wheelchairs. <laughs> yeah, like take that, yeah. Uh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. A little badumtish. Oh, we didn't hear that, but oh, I'll take son it. Son of a bitch, fucking Skype. That would have been funny. That would have been funny, folks. You heard it. All the streaming services. No, Skype. Fuck Skype. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom, you're on. I like you. 
Skype, <laughs> suck a dick. Um, yeah, so, so yeah, um, with that, we would normally end with our socials and stuff. So, Tom, do you want to yes. check out any socials, any shout outs you want to do whilst you've got on the yeah. air, as it were? Instagram, Twitter, at Tom Matthews TT. Tom Matthews. I can give a shout out to Meg Shackleton. Awesome. Yeah. And most of the team will be there and all that. And Sexy my Jane Shackleton. Definitely my hairdresser. <laughs> Are you a hairdresser? You a hairdresser? Yeah. Nice. He does a nice. sick job, man. So, I'm going point know. today, to be fair. As well. fair I'll, I'll, I'll say myself, so I'm going to give him a shout out. There you ben go. Davis. Nice. nice. Very nice Cheers, indeed. Ben, lad. Uh, <laughs> Cheers to making a handsome bastard. Give it that one. Jack, when you're down, you're coming for it. <laughs> I'll, go, I'll go for it. Yeah, that's a good go idea. Uh, I mean, Chris, I, from, you can, from here, uh, I can you, see it looks like you need one. I can watch, thanks. Sounds like the rest of my life. Jesus. Unless we just... Stick one goes on the floor on your head. Make a wiggle. Hey, that's an idea. Chris is like, uh, sorry, Ben, I've got no way, but can you cut me uh, pubes? <laughs> no, I got your endorsement from Balls last week, so I know to just call them instead and get a nice nick. Oh, um, right, so yeah, you can you can find our socials. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Hunting for Funny on Instagram, ch- uh, yeah. Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. Or Hunt- search Hunting for Funny podcast on YouTube. You'll find this shit. Subscribe if you like it. Like it if you like it. Uh, and give us a review and a five star rating on iTunes. That'd be real nice of you. Um, yeah. Like the video, man. Like the video. Like there you go. Ring the bell. All that shit. The, uh, so, not Tom. Just the yeah, bell. yeah, not Tom. The other people. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so all it comes to say is. <laughs> so Tommy, thank oh. you so so much for coming on to this. It's been an absolute blast. I, yeah, I don't know about you, Jack, but I've had a great time. Man. Jesus, it's just the way it looks. So laughing so much. Yeah, no, Cheers it's it's, it's been really honestly, it's been a great yeah, time. Right. We'll definitely have you on yeah, again in the future. Um, yeah, and folks, we're going to try and attempt. This pro- I'm probably going to regret saying this. We're going to attempt to have a guest every ten episodes or so. Sounds um, good. Yeah. It's difficult to arrange sometimes, I imagine. I've done it once, so it's not difficult at all so far, but you know what I mean. I'm sure some people will yeah. be awkward, is what I'm trying to say, without saying yeah. it. Um, yeah. So, yeah, we're going to try every 10 or so, but don't hold us to it, because you're just a twat if you do. Um, so, thanks a lot for watching, folks. We love you all, and we'll see you all next yeah. week. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye now.